It is, uh, it is, uh, what day is it, chat? It is Monday. It is Monday. Um, and there's so many amazing people already in chat. Chat was popping off, uh, which I like. It's always good to see you guys coming in. Even though I was slightly late, uh, I saw people in the Discord were getting worried if I was, uh, if I was falling asleep or, you know, if I was still here. Um, but yes, I was. But I, I just had some, some, some issues with my, um, with, with my, with my unnamed music service. Um, for some reason, it was like, "Hey, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna load today," you know. I mean, who who needs loading music anyway? Like, what and what is even streaming? Um, you know. So yeah, so I had to reboot my computer, but it was kind of at the last minute. So um, yeah, that's why I was slightly late today. But we're here now. We're here now. It's all good. I'm happy, you guys. You know, uh, it's it's nice that you guys were concerned, but it's it's all good. I'm here. We're, we're, we're back. Um, even though you know we streamed a long day yesterday. We're just going to continue on with it today. Um, so yeah, let's do it. Let's start the proper countdown and let's have a good time. Let's hope everything is working again. Yesterday I had some tech issues um, with the stream itself after OBS suddenly decided to crash. Um, but I think everything is fixed, so we should be good. I'm feeling kind of hot because, you know, weather. But hey, here we are. Good evening, everyone. Good evening and good time zone to all of you. How is everyone doing today? My name is Mr. Delicious. Welcome to the stream on this Monday, September 6, 2021. Also, what is uh, what is Wolfie doing over like all the way? Hello? Why are you all the way down there? Hello? Are you okay? Should I should I drag you up? Like are you are you are you good? Um Oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we still have the um, official started. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, we still have the uh, we still have the 50 uh, biddies confetti thing. I kind of liked it, you know. I thought it was kind of fun. So uh, I figured, you know, why not, why not keep it? Because it's, it, yeah, I, I like it. So for 50 bitties, you can still shoot confetti in my face if you want to. It's funny, Peter was actually saying the other day, 
Um, like, wouldn't it be cool if you could actually make people shoot off like an actual confetti cannon with like, I don't know, like 500 bits? Um, and I was like, yeah, that would be super cool. But also, I don't know, for some reason, even if I would make it like, I don't know, like 500 bits, the fact that I would actually shoot an actual confetti cannon, like, you know, in the air, like at my face or whatever, I think people will make use of that. And, you know, I would constantly have to change and fill it up with new confetti. So the idea is cool, but like execution, um, I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see about that. Uh, let's see. I saw some amazing faces in chat already. I saw Martin here as well, uh, of course. Uh, tricks coming in as well. Apparently today is Labor Day. So if you are in uh, in a country that observes Labor Day, a happy Labor Day to you. Um, also, apparently today it's Happy Read a Book Day. So if you haven't read a book today, uh, now is your chance to do that because, you know, it's, it's Read a Book Day. Um, let's see. We also had Prime Guy coming on in. Hello, hello. Um, who else did I see? I saw more people. Uh, I saw Piggy Pup. Hello, hello to you as well. Uh, and everyone else that is lurking or just uh, hanging around. Uh, good to have you. Welcome on in. It's, uh, it's good to see you guys. Um, I saw your pub meeting tweets. So cute and so jello. Uh, I want to pop out like that. Yeah, that was my first time. Uh, that was on Saturday. Um, it was my first time, you know, doing something like that. Um, but it was such a good time. I was super nervous beforehand. But, you know, once I was uh, coaxed onto the, um, you know, like the, the play floor, um, all of that kind of vanished and disappeared. And, um, you know, Puppy Brook came out and he took over for me for, you know, like for several hours. Um, he kind of took over my, 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 my headspace or whatever, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, it was such a good time. It was really such a good time. Um, and they're doing, they're, they're holding their, those every two months. Um, you know, like considering if, if everything is allowed with COVID and, and such, but... Uh, normally, if, if things are okay, then, you know, those events happen every two months. Um, so I kind of like to go, you know, more often, for sure. Um, but it's not necessarily like, you know, next door. Like, it's it's it, I need to drive there either by train or by car. Um, so, you know, like, I need to keep in mind, like, you know, gas and or like train tickets and, and, and such. So, um, yeah, I, 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 it's something that I need to just, you know, see if it's uh, if it's doable. Uh, but yeah, I was uh, I was having a good time. Uh, I noticed the puppy meeting group started following me on Twitter. Ooh. Oh, wait, maybe because you like that tweet. I don't know. Do you think they like, they, they follow everyone that likes their tweet? I don't know. Maybe they do. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not running that Twitter, so I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's see. All okay with me? Just tired from work, work, not used to it anymore. Oh, yeah, I totally get that. I totally get that. I would, I'm so sort of already um, s s scared, quote unquote, nervous, anxious, whatever you want to call it. Um, for when I eventually, you know, have to find a job again and, and, and have to do that again. Um, because now, you know, like the last few weeks, uh, if I'm being very honest, I haven't gone to bed like before 2 a.m. mostly. Um, but that of course is not really a thing if you're gonna, if you need to wake up next day at like 8 a.m., 9 a.m., whatever. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Uh, confetti cannon would make him a huge mess. It would. It, I mean, it would be super cool. I would love it to have something like that is like a physical thing, you know, like something that you guys could do. Actually, there is a streamer that I follow who has a sub printer, which I think is super cool. So every time someone subscribes to him, um, that, like he has a printer behind him, like one of those um, thermal printers, you know, the ones that you see in, in, in grocery stores. Um, he has it behind him. And every time someone subscribes to his channel or like gifts a sub or anything like that, um, the printer prints out like a tiny little paper with like the name of the person that subscribed, like the the tenure, like how many months uh, they have subscribed, and also their per like if they if they added like a personal message, it also prints that as well. Um, so every time you know someone subs, the camera kind of zooms in on that on that printer, and then you know he grabs it and is like, "Hey, thank you so much, username for subscribing." Then he shows the piece of paper. And it's, it's I mean it's it's a simple thing, like you know it's just a printer that prints out that. Um, but I think stuff like that is super cool. So I, I kind of would love to implement more um, kind of cool stuff like that. But I need to come up with things. Um, so, yeah. I saw a Dutch streamer have it too, but uh, I don't think it's the same streamer. No, because it, the one that I'm referring to isn't, uh, he's, he's uh, English. Well, he's actually Australian, but, you know, he speaks English. So um, unless he's, he's he changed his language and also moved to the Netherlands, I don't think it's the same person, though. <laughs> Fairly sure. Um... 
Or Peter can clean it himself. Yeah, so I, yeah, I'm, I'm just shooting off all the confetti. And then after I'm done streaming, I'm like, yeah, so honey, can you come in with like, you know, a vacuum and, and do all the, uh, you know, clean it all up? That would be great. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I'm not sure if I want to do that to him. That wouldn't be very nice. Um, also, Naki, hello, how are you doing? I like the confetti cannon a lot. Yeah, I mean, we I think we talked about that before, like a, lo a long time ago, when someone was like, why can't you do like an actual confetti cannon? Um, and I was like, yeah, I love the idea, but also, um, no. <laughs> so that's why we have the 50 bits confetti cannon now. It's not the same, but it's, you know, it's, 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 you know, it's, it's, it's less mess for me to clean up. So, yeah. Um, a fun way to birth birthdayify the, the alert. <laughs> that is true. Yes. Um, a water pistol. I mean, it like... Um, I, what, one thing that I would love to implement is um, Snapcam, uh, which is basically like Snapchat's, like, you know, all the Snapchat filters that you have on Snapchat, um, but then on your PC. I would love to implement that on the stream, but I don't think, because I feel that it, it I, I, I think that app actually uses quite a bit of CPU power. Um, so I'm not sure if that is like the wisest thing to do in terms of, you know, resource management. Um, I do think that are because I, you know, I'm you, you basically are routing your webcam through Snapcam, and then whenever someone activates um, like an effect, it just apply applies it to your webcam. So in OBS, I wouldn't actually add my my webcam; I would add Snapcam. Um, but I did see that there are ways because you can't use your webcam in multiple tools at the same time, which is kind of annoying. Um, like if I have my webcam active in OBS, I can't go on, like I wouldn't be able to go on Skype or like any other tool that uses a webcam right now and use my webcam because it doesn't, it, you can only use it in one tool. I don't know why that is, super annoying, um, but that's like how, you know, Windows works. But I did see there are tools that you can basically clone your webcam, I guess, and it can still be used in multiple programs. Um, so I might want to look into something like that because then you guys could actually apply filters like Snapca Snapchat filters um, with like, you know, like bits or um, channel points, even like stuff like that, which I think is also kind of interesting. I mean, there's a lot of cool Snapchat filters. Um, but yeah, yes, I mentioned it a few times. Wait, did you can do that? Yeah, I think it's called like split cam or something or I don't know. I know there are tools to do that, but I just haven't really had time to look into it because I'm also not sure like how um, resource intensive they would be still. So that's also still a thing. Um, but yeah. Also, Pabvili, hello, hello. How are you? Add another CPU. I mean, well, I'm not sure if I can add another, as in like on top of it, but like, you know, adding a new CPU is definitely something that would be something I wouldn't have to do down the line. But seeing as I'm still trying to save up for a GPU, um, I'm feeling that's more like priority at the moment over my CPU. So um, yeah, also, Orm, hello, welcome on in. Hello, hello. But Chad, how is everyone doing? How is everyone doing? I'm still feeling so good from yesterday's stream. Um, uh, I, I send the like uh, when we're done yesterday, uh, like late at night, uh, like, you know, late at night for me, I send out a, a tweet uh, with all my thanks. And I just wanted to give him again, like face to face or face to webcam, I guess, um, because I, I really was so like yesterday was so, so much fun, not just because of like all the all the love with like gifted subs and, and stuff like that. I mean, that was awesome. And like um, more than I ever expected and, and even deserve, I feel. Um, but I just felt like, you know, I felt like yesterday all the love and like so many people coming in with um, like, you know, nice messages. And I feel we all had like a, a good time. And um, even though I didn't necessarily schedule anything in terms of like games that I wanted to play, it was more like a let's just wing it and let's see what kind of, you know, happens. Um, I don't know. I kind of enjoyed that. And I liked just kind of have, looking at new games that we never played before, like the test, which was kind of awesome. Um, and then after that, we played Orwell which I actually really liked as well. So I'm guessing I definitely want to continue with that at some point. Um, but yeah, I kind of like that. So I that actually made me think as well um, that I want to do that more often. I want to, and I think I said this last week as well, I want to do more often um, like, like streams and maybe Friday is like the perfect day for that, where we just kind of go in a new game, see what it's like. And then, you know, we either con con continue with it like another time or we leave it at that, you know? Um, but I, I mean, we, I, I played Dwarf Romantic um, like a couple of weeks ago for the first time and people loved it. And I never played it myself before and I loved it as well. Uh, Mini Metro or Mini Motorways, same thing. Like we just started playing that and people loved it. Um, 
So I want to do that more often, like where we just kind of play a new game and kind of just see like, hey, do we like this? Do we not like this? And then, you know, are we going to continue with it? Maybe, maybe not. Um, so yeah, I want to see if we can kind of start doing that more often. Um, but other than that, you know, I guess there was so much fun. So uh, thank you so much. Also, I shared a tweet um, earlier today. I rarely share, like normally I don't really share like, you know, my stats or like my, my numbers and everything. Because um, I feel like, you know, it's not all about the numbers. It's also about like the experiences that you have. That's, you know, of course, the most important thing. But as with everything, looking at like your statistics and your numbers, that is, you know, just something that you as a content creator that wants to, you know, make this more than just a hobby. Um, you kind of inevit inevitably have to do that. Um, but I shared these statistics and I, uh, I don't know, I was just like everything. Look at all these arrows. They're all green. And I I don't think I've ever seen that before. So um I think this stream may have been like the best stream ever in terms of um, like, you know, all these numbers. So thank you guys so much for everyone that was a part of that. Um, like, you know, people that came in with the raids, uh, people that came in with, you know, like all the subs uh, and all the love. Even some games were gifted yesterday uh, by uh, someone who shall not be named because I know that they're going to do it again. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just had I just had a really good time. So thank you so much. I hope you guys did as well. Uh, and, and a little bit of an extra special thank you to Hurry, Naki and uh, Lynx for joining me in those last minute Armello games. Because uh, I had a great time. I hadn't played Armello in such a long time. Uh, so it was such a, you know, a good fun to uh, jump back into that again. So uh, yeah, thank you everyone for making my belated birthday, because it wasn't of course yesterday, but for making my belated birthday extra special. I really appreciate that. Um, so a little bit of an applause, yes. Thank you, a little bit of an applause for yourself, for being awesome and delicious. Um, especially also delicious. Um, I'm doing fantastic, just a bit tired. How else are you? I'm doing good as well. Why are you tired? Did you like, you know, did you just have a tiresome day or did you do something special? Um, did you punch a nun today? I did not, no. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm ever, like, if I will ever punch a nun, if, it, if I like, all of a sudden the opportunity arises that I punch a nun, uh, I'll let you know. I'll, you will be the first one to know if I have punched a nun. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to say that it's going to happen, but if it happens, I will tell you. You will be the first one to know, and then I'll put it on Twitter and, and I'll talk about it on the stream. But you will be the first to know, other than, you know, the nun itself, of course, and maybe people that are, like, with me because they witness it. But other than that, you, are, you will be the first one to know. Um, Orwell was all, uh, Orwell was all right. Yeah, I, I kind of liked it. Like, Gameplay wise, it was not special, you know, it wasn't spectacular and there were definitely some things that they could improve on. Um, but like the concept of it, I really enjoyed. I really thought it was uh, it was nice. Can you also see the number of subs because we reached 50 yesterday, but not really. So I'm confused. Um, oh, you mean, you mean over here with that? Yeah, so I can see that. Um, yeah, so and that is something that Twitch does, and that is kind of very confusing, I guess. Um, so how subs work on Twitch is you have... Can I show this without, like, showing literally everything? Um, can I zoom in on this? Oh, I can, but then, like, everything goes weird. Okay, oh, oh, crap, what did I do? Don't zoom in that far. Okay, wait, okay. Let me show you this. Um, this is gonna look crazy, but, well... Bear with me. <laughs> Zoomed all the way in. Uh, so there you see, there you see. Um, I'm not sure if Twitch likes me showing this, but you know, whatever. Um, there you see my subs and then next to that you see my sub points. Um, and that's the crazy thing that Twitch kind of does. I don't know why they have sub points, like what the thought behind that is. Um, but you can see I currently have 45 subscribers. That's the like, that's the amount of people that have subscribed to the channel which is also what you see like over there in the top with the sub goal then next to that you see the sub points which is at 50 um and the way that works is a tier one sub is one sub point uh, a tier two sub is more than i'm not i'm not exactly sure how many but like more than one sub point the tier three sub is again even more than that um so technically i can have i don't know i can have like 10 subs um, but I can have 30 sub points, for instance. I, I like I, I don't know the math. I, like I said, I'm not exactly sure how many points each tier is worth. Uh, but I could have 10 subs and then 30 sub points. Um, and I think, I don't know for sure, but I think that the um, 
uh, that the the sub goal thing in like you know the the goal that we set yesterday. Um, I think that that looks at sub points and not at actual subs, which is weird. But I guess that's why you know like we reached fifty when we in reality did not. Um, so yeah, uh, I didn't know that by the way. Like that that is actually new to me as well that it does that since that entire feature is new. Um, but yeah, that's uh, I guess that's how it works. And also these sub points, w like why how they use them is when you are an affiliate and when you are a partner. Um, I have five emote slots, and we, when you are an affiliate, you can unlock more slots. Um, like if you just start out, you can unlock more slots. Uh, and they look at these sub points. So I think when you start as an affiliate, you have one emote slot. You can get your second, I think, at like 15 sub points. Uh, you can get your third at 25 your fourth at 35 and then you know so on and so forth and the same goes with um with partners with partners you can unlock like I like I think up to 50 emotes I want to say um not exactly sure if it's 50 but I think 50 um but you don't get all 50 slots unlocked when you reach partner like you you need to get them with those sub points so technically if everyone would subscribe at a tier 3 um you would need less subs to unlock these slots um but I really don't understand, like, why, like, you know, why, why, like, why having these points? Maybe they want to, like, show that, you know, tier 3 subs are better, quote unquote, than tier 1 subs. Um, but yeah, that's how that works. Um, I had to do one bigger repair to my car, literally got back to, uh, got back home half an hour ago. Oh, wow. Well, hopefully everything is fine now and hopefully it doesn't cost you too much. Usually car repairs are insanely expensive. Um, so hopefully everything was fixed and it's it's okay now and it's not too um you didn't break the bank too much. Uh tier two is two sub points and tier three is six. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I wasn't sure if tier three was actually three, but it's okay, apparently it's six. Um so yeah, I'm not ex I'm not sure why we got 50. Because I think I'm the only tier tier three sub at the moment. Uh, I don't think we have a tier two sub. Maybe gifted subs count for more. I really actually don't know. Um, but yeah, that's, that's how that works. Maybe I can see actually, um, maybe I can see tier one subs, tier three subs. Oh yeah. So I have, oh yeah. So there we go. So I have 44 tier one subs, uh, and I'm the only one that is a tier three sub. I think if it counts me, um, even though I don't get money. So I guess there's someone else that is a tier three sub as well. Um, so we have 44 sub points plus six equals 50. Uh, and that, you know, 44 plus 1 equals 45 subs. Um, also, stupid thing, all of them revenue split is 50-50. So, yeah, that's the thing. Um, I actually saw this tweet yesterday as well from someone who um, used another platform. He used Switch, but also another platform. He was like, um, I got like this many subs on Twitch, which means that I got this many, this much revenue. Uh, and then I got the same amount of subs over on, you know, the other platform. Um... And there I got like more than double the amount of revenue. I was like, yeah, that looking at looking at it that way is it's kind of insane. Like 50-50 for a split is pretty hefty, I guess. So I wonder because I feel that Twitch is also getting a lot of negativity about that as well. Not just the hate rate thing, but also like, you know, the split that they that they take. Um, I wonder if they will change that as well, because I mean, you know, it's Amazon like they don't need the money. Let's be honest. Um, so yeah, I wonder if they will, uh, if they will also do something about that, but we'll see, we'll see if any, if anything will happen. Um, happy at tier three is just three sub tokens, but wait, isn't that still, isn't the sub token still like expensive? <laughs> uh, I did it myself with a friend, so it cost under 20, 20 euros. Oh, well, that is nice. Um, but it, you know, then it only took you like quite a bit of time, but at least it's nice that it didn't cost you a lot because... Every time our car has something, um, we have to take it into the uh, into the garage and then we come pick it up. And it's like, yeah, that's going to be like one million euros. And we're like, OK, thank you. Um, so, yeah, that is one thing with our car that they that we we talked about like several times with the with the with the garage, but they can't find the issue. But it's the most annoying thing ever. So what it does is you have like your seat belts and then you click it in this like, you know, in the seat belt thing i don't know what it's called like you click your seat belt in there to secure it um but when it's not secure or when you un like when you make it you 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 know separate it again 
Um, there's like a little alarm in the car that goes off, letting you know like, hey, your seatbelt is not secured. It's actually loose. Um, for some reason, our seatbelt holder thing um, has like some kind of contact loose or like there's some issue with it. So every time, you know, on the driver's seat seatbelt side, we constantly get that alarm, like all, like maybe like all the time, like not all the time, like every time, especially when Peter drives, he gets it more often than I do. But like when you take like a, like a turn, you go like, you know, through a curve or something like that, the, th the alarm goes off all the time. And then we have to click it in again, and then it stops for a second, and then like after a few minutes, it does it again. Um, which is like the worst, because it's like this loud, you know, like beeping alarm. It's so annoying. And we, we talked about it to the dealership and they're like, yeah, we don't, we, we looked at it. We can't, we, we didn't notice it ourselves. And we don't know, like we looked at it, we can't find any issues. So it's super annoying. It's like, we have this alarm going off all the time that we can't fix. So yeah, maybe a nice jo new job for you, for your car mechanic. For me, uh, I'm, I don't think I would be qualified for a car mechanic because I don't even know what a spark plug is. I think that's like one of the most basic objects in a car. I have no idea what that is, how, what it looks like, where you would put it. Um, so yeah, I, I don't even think I can change a tire myself. So I'm not sure if I would be a good car. Like, I'm not sure if you would trust your car to me to fix it for you. I can clean it. Um, like, you know, if you want me to clean your car, that is something I can do. Um, but like fixing it, then maybe not. <laughs> uh, I don't know if a spark plug is like the most basic object, but I always feel that people are like, oh, wait, isn't that a spark plug that is broken? And then like, oh, yeah, it is. And then they fix it and it's all good. So, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, I wonder why the sparks have to be plugged. That is a good question. I don't know either. I don't know why those always break and why they're always so cheap. Um, but yeah, for some reason, sparks need to be plugged. I don't, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, my dad had it with the horn every time he steered right and the horn honked. Oh, that is even worse because that's like something that other people can hear. Uh, and I can totally imagine like, you know, people in front of him being like, dude, what, why are you honking? I'm not doing anything. What's your, what's your issue? Um, so that's, yeah, I can see that's even more annoying. <laughs> um, especially with some people being so aggressive like on the road um that's even like worse like some people are like you know um they can they can really get aggressive while they're driving like i like um, one thing that really like i'm i'm a pretty chill driver i rarely you know yell at people or, or be like hey you asshole what are you doing you know i mean i i rarely do that but one thing that really that i hate is when i'm on the highway or like i'm anywhere and i'm trying to you know like take over another car I mean, obviously, I'm going to, you know, go slightly faster, but I got, I'm not going to go like if you're allowed to go 100, I'm not going to go like 120 to take over the other car. Right. So I'm just going to go like slightly over like the speed limit to, to make sure that I can take over. Then we have this like maniac coming up behind me, speeding up to me and then blinking his lights like, dude, you are in my lane. G get out. And I'm like, dude, no, I'm not in your lane. I'm not going to get out. Just be chill. Because I'm just driving the speed limit, limit and going slightly faster to overtake this other car. Um, that really grinds my gears. I hate it when people are like tailing you, like when they're sticking to your bumper because they feel they, you know, they feel that the, the rules don't count for them and like speed limits don't count for them. So they feel like they can just go faster and I'm in their way, quote unquote. Um, I really hate that. Like some, if you are behind me and you're doing that, you might risk that I just, you know, hit my brakes for a little bit. So just to kind of scare you because I hate people doing that. Um, so yeah. My dad dis disconnected her one, but wait, that's also not the safest thing to do. <laughs> that's also not the safe, but, and, and how does he get through like his, um, yearly checkup? I, I think a horn is pretty, um, crucial for like, you know, getting through your checkup, I guess. <laughs> It's like, yeah, officer, I'm sorry, uh, my horn doesn't work. But other than that, everything works fine. It's just my horn. So like, who needs that? I can just open the window and just be like, hey, out of the way, I'm coming through. You know, I, I can do that as well. It's uh, who needs a horn anyway? Just just yell. <laughs> uh, this is old Disney Channel uh, original movie, Big Fat Liar, uh, that these kids were why it's a big movie director's car to honk when he hit the brakes. Oh, that is so annoying. <laughs> That would be so annoying. 
Speaking of yelling, that is if you ever if you ever come to the Netherlands and like, you know, we I think we are known for our cycle culture, right? Like I think everyone knows that cycling in the Netherlands is like a big thing. Um, like, you know, not like non non Dutch people back me up here. Like, is that like, is that what we are known for other than our cheese and our win windmills and our tulips and our weed? Um, I feel that cycling is definitely something that is like part of our um, culture, right? Uh, but for some reason, uh, not everyone knows that. Even like native Dutch people, they don't know that. So what they like to do um, when like um, when I cycle and I, there's someone like in my way, they're walking on the cycling lane or whatever. I like to just, you know, ring my bell well in advance so that they know like, hey, listen up, uh, you got a couple of seconds and then I'm going to be there. Um, but for some reason, most people don't realize that, you know, I take my time and I do that well in advance because every time I, I ring my bell, um, I see people that are in front of me are going like, <gasps> and they, they quickly scoot off to the side. I'm like, dude, relax. I'm not gonna, you know, run over you. You have second, you have time to just step aside. I'm just indicating like, hello, I am here. You are in my way. Maybe step aside for a second. That's it. But every time I do that, people are like, <gasps> and then they look back and then they quickly go, go over there. I'm like, relax, relax. But I know why that is because so many people don't either don't ring or they ring when they are literally behind you because I've had that I've been on the other end of that as well you know I'm walking the dog um and you know where I like to walk there is a path that is I guess technically a cycling path but you can also walk there so it's like you know a little bit double um but you know so many times there's someone coming up behind me and then they're ringing and I'm like okay I'm gonna step aside and then all of a sudden they're already next to me I'm like oh dude where the hell did you come from you literally just rang your bell what did you do um so I kind of get it, but I'm like, okay, ringing a bell is not, it's not like a last resort thing. Like, okay, are they going to go to the side? Are they going to go to the side? Are they going to go to the side? No, they're not. Okay, if in five seconds, I'm going to hit them. Let's ring the bell. That's not how that works. Um, but clearly not all Dutch people know that. <laughs> so yeah. You need to yell on a bike. Yeah, well, I mean, that too. I mean, I, I mean I'm a cyclist myself, like, you know, a road biking cyclist. Um, is that, can you call it like that, like a road biking cyclist, like, you know, like not Tour de France, but you know, like that. Um, I like to do that myself as well, but I have, I just have a bell on my bike. I got two actually. Um, so like one that is more easy when I'm like in, in the, in the handlebars and one that is like, you know, just easily when I'm just chill like that. But many people who are cyclists who feel that they need to be super aerodynamic because, you know, that's gonna, they're amateurs, you know, they just do it for a hobby, but they feel that's gonna shave off like a, a tenth of maybe, you know, a second. Um, so they don't have a bell because that's that's not aerodynamic. Bells are not aerodynamic. Um, so they indeed like to yell. So, so many times you have like these cyclists that are, you know, behind you and they're just yelling like, oi, or like, hey. Um, and then you just have to guess like, okay, I'm not sure what that was, but I'm assuming someone's gonna zip past me in any second. So, um, yeah. Next time, yeah, don't be scared. I just wanna pass you in a few seconds. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> one guy I know it is horn broken. So he had one meter long adult fun times toy that he beat on his car roof. Uh, that really got other people's attention in rush hour traffic. <laughs> but wait, did that make like a noise or was it just like a, hello, here I am, see me. So that, you know, like he could, you know, <laughs> that people saw him and was like, what the hell is that? And then they just stopped for him. That's fun, though. <laughs> and I mean, you know, I guess some of them can have pretty good like suction. You know, you have you have if it was what I think it was, um, I think, it, you know, the, some of them can have like pretty good like suction at the bottom. So you can just stick it on your roof and it will just never come off. Um, so, yeah, I've never done that, by the way. Just full, full disclosure, but I can I can you know I can reckon that you you know with the suction it yeah um don't know how it worked but it did well you know that's the most important thing if I mean I don't know how computers work but they do so I mean that's most of the time so you know that's that's all that matters to me <laughs> um so yeah you. <laughs> Just, uh, I'm quickly typing a message. Um, mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Typing is hard, chat.
All right. Typing is hard. Do you guys do you guys struggle when you are typing something, whether it's like on your PC or like on your phone, like a text message or anything, and you are talking and you are saying other things? So like, you know, I wouldn't be able to type a message to like anyone right now if I'm talking to you guys, because then I'm going to, especially if I'm talking in English and I'm typing in Dutch, because then I'm going to type the things that I'm going to say. So my message is going to be super weird. Um, and but it's, it's like, I wish that I had the skill that I can just do that. Um, I mean, I can listen and type if I want to, but it's also, mm -hmm, uh, but I can't speak and type. It's not a, it's not, a, it's, it doesn't, it just doesn't work. It does, for some reason, the brain is not wired to do those kind of things, I guess. Um, either I say what I type or I type what I say. Um, but I can't, it, it, I can't separate the two. Uh, what I can do, not always, but what I can do is typing blind. But I can type a text message like this on my phone, just blind. And then I'm just looking at you. I'm not saying anything. I'm just looking and listening, but I can type it like this and it's going to be a good text message. Um, and the reason for that is I heavily rely on autocorrect because most of the times it works very well. Um, so I just I just rely on my autocorrect and then it, and then, then it does it does a good job. So yeah, either that or you get like a crazy message from me and you're like, what the hell is he saying? Um, but yeah. Uh, in the last century, my brother did add a horn to his truck of his scooter. Uh, the horn of a truck to his scooter, not the big ones, only the small ones, but sounded loud. <laughs> I've also seen people that have like this special, I think, um, what's this, this name? This, this one like engineer on YouTube that does like, that did also like the, um, the porch pirate, like glitter bomb thing. I don't know what his name is, but that's like this famous engineer on, on YouTube that makes like videos where, where he makes all these kind of cool stuff. Uh, but I think he also added like all these various horns to his car with like all these sounds. So he had like a standard horn, but then he had like this like little box in like his center console where you could press like, you know, other sound effects for a horn. I always like those kind of things. I think it's super funny. I'm not sure if they are like legal to do, um, but still it's funny. I think fun is also important. Like sometimes legality of things, you know, I'm like, as long as it's fun and it's not unsafe, you know, who cares? <laughs> So yeah, anyway, chat, um, let's have a look at what we're going to do this week. Um, I had my tab with my schedule open and I kind of like to go over that every start of like every Monday. I think it's like a good idea. So if you've missed that, you know where it is. Also, if you missed it in general, you know where to find it, which is going to be my Twitter. Uh, I always share the uh, I, on Monday. I always try to share uh, my game list over there. Uh, Mark Rober. Yeah, Mark Rober. There we go. Yeah, yeah. That's the one that I was uh, referring to. I, I always love his porch pirate glitter bomb videos they are so cool um i mean i'm a big fan of like if i had the skills i would love to be an engineer because i i think i would definitely love to make things like uh, to make things that might be seem complicated and make them not complicated and just make them work the way like make them do what i want to do i would love to be able to do that um but i don't have those skills so i'm i, I wouldn't be a good engineer um but yeah, I always love like his uh, his videos. Like they're so cool. Um, I think I would I think I would be like a good conceptual engineer. Uh, I think I would be good at that, so that I would be like, okay, I want to make this, and it needs to work just like this, and we need to have this and this and this, and then we can you know connect it together, and then it does that. I think I can be. I think I would be good at doing that, like coming up with the concept, and then someone else is gonna make it for me, encode it, and like hardwire it and like solder the the motherboards and whatever together um but if i can come up with the concept and someone else can make it that would be good just hire some people make cool stuff and make money <laughs> you make it sound so easy you want to come work for me then we're going to make cool stuff together and then we're going to make money i have thought though like I, I have thought like no like no jokes how cool it would be seeing as i make my streamer videos and like we have talked like on stream about th making things like um, for instance, you know, like our, the, the idea that we had of adding like steam achievements on stream and making them pop up when you make, when you get an achievement on, Ste on, on steam, um, I actually was thinking like, wouldn't it be cool if we, if we kind of teamed up, um, and I came up with the ideas and you were like the brains and the coding, you know, force behind it. And we just kind of started making cool things and then started selling them. Um, but I'm also not really like, I'm, I, I, I don't necessarily believe in selling things that are, that should be free. Like that's why my entire Kofi thing, you can get everything for free if you want to. Um, because I feel that information should be free and knowledge should be free. Um, so I'm guessing business model wise is not the best. So I can't, I, you know, I can't pay you. That's, that's I mean, I would love to hire people, but I'm probably not going to be able to pay them. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Um. All right. Steam achievements with real steam. Wow, imagine that. Like, I get a steam achievement and then, like, pfft, steam in the face. All right, anyway, here's our schedule for this week. Um, so today is Monday. For those of you who didn't know already, we started a little past 8 p.m. CET. But that's okay. Um, but we're going to continue with Batman Arkham Asylum. Because uh, I actually wanted to play that last week on Friday, but then we started playing Lake, and we had such a good time with that. So, um, uh, you know, here we are. We I, I, I didn't. Uh, then on Wednesday, I would like to continue with Red Dead 2. We finished Road 96. We finished 12 minutes. Um, so I don't really have. I mean, I have a lot of new games, but I'm not. I wasn't sure what new game I wanted to play today uh, or this week. So I'm, I'm thinking I want to continue with uh, Red. Excuse me, Red Dead this week. Um, and then maybe next week I might want to add in like a like a new game again in, in the mix. I have... Um, I have... What is it called? Um, where is it? Dishonored. That I think I would love to start with as well. Um, and I got a couple other new games that I would love to uh, play uh, or at least start with. So um, yeah, I'll have to look at like what, what a new story driven game could be that we, uh, could start up and then hopefully finish as well. Um, I was also thinking like, aren't there any cool releases soon? I, well, I know Halo is going to be in December, I believe. Um, so yeah, but yeah, that's going to be on Wednesday. Uh, also got to head out for a bit, uh, be back later. No worries, tricks. You take care, uh, and see you, see you in a bit. Uh, and on Friday, we're going to continue with Lake. I actually had a pretty good time playing that. I, I, I love the chill vibes. And after playing the demo a little while back uh, and making a video of that on my YouTube, I kind of was like, oh, wait, this game is actually surprisingly fun. Um, so, yeah, I'm thinking that I'm going to just con try and continue with that. And we're just going to see, like, you know, how much fun we're going to have with it. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be on Friday. And as always, I kind of made that a, a little disclaimer here as well. Uh, but as always, game choices can change during the stream. I, I don't put that in as a disclaimer in the image, uh, but I just want people to know that, that you know, like perhaps I might be that on the day um, of the stream, I, I, you know, I got and gifted a new game or um, I discovered a new game that I want to try out. So it could be technically that, you know, game choice might change um, on the actual day. So uh, just so you guys know, um, yeah. And I think, you know, I, I don't think it's ever like an issue or anything like that, but um, I just, uh, I just, you know, wanted to sort of clarify that because la last Friday, I kind of felt bad that um, Batman was on the agenda and then I didn't actually play Batman. Um, so I kind of felt a little bit bad. So that's why I, I kind of made that sort of disclaimer, like, hey, even though this game is on the agenda, something might come up and we're going to play something else. Uh, but I always try to stick to the schedule as much as I can, because obviously that's why we have a schedule. Like, why else would you make a schedule if you're not going to stick to it? Um, so, yeah. Anyway, so that means we're going to play... Um, we're going to play... Um, Batman today. Stop gifting games. <laughs> oh, you don't have to. Um, but, you know, there are many games that I, that I want to play because of that. <laughs> So yeah. Um, also, one thing that I hate about Batman, about the Batman game, is that um, apparently there is music in there that is copyrighted. Because every time I upload my vods to YouTube, I get like you know copyright notifications, like "Hey, there's copyright music." And I'm, music, and I'm like, "What? What music? I didn't play any music that was copyrighted." And then I go look, and it's like in-game music. So I'm like, "Hello, Warner Brothers. Um, what's up with that?" Um. So yeah, that's kind of annoying, but you know, luckily I don't get strikes on my uh, on my uh, second channel, so it's it's all good. It's just a little bit annoying. Um, so yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna boot up uh, the game, and I hope everyone is doing good. As always, if you have anything you want to share with the rest of us, any things you want to uh, you know things that happened during your weekend or anything like that. You know where to do it. How does Batman's mom call him for dinner? Wow. Dinner, 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 dinner. Batman. <laughs> I love the the last, like, you know, the last edition of Batman. That was funny. Um, 
I like this music. It's kind of, it's got a vibe. Do you guys like it? I wish that I had a U light somewhere in the back, except for this one, because it would be so cool to press a button and, and, and enable like disco mode. Um, I still hope that someday there's going to be a U addition, U extension for Leon board. Um, because then, you know, I could do so much cool things with that over like Lumia, which I use right now. Um, because for Lumia, you need to pay a monthly fee if you want to use like all the features. And with Leon board, I can just make them myself. But there's no U um, extension or like addition for that, sadly, yet. So, um, yeah, that would be so cool. Uh, let's see, where is Batman? I just saw it. Here we are. Um, what game is it? It's still Batman. Batman Arkham Asylum. And there's now also this new tool that people are using, which is called Streamer Bot. And that actually allows you to use um, C... What is it called? C Sharp? C Hashtag? I'm not sure if it's... Is it called C Sharp, the, the programming language? Um... But that actually allows you to use, um, like, you know, your own written scripts and whatever in, in C Sharp, C Hashtag. Um, but again, I, I, I don't know how to write that, but like, oh wait. NVIDIA. NVIDIA. <laughs> um, I love that. But yeah, then you could make some cool stuff with that as well, but I, I haven't looked into that really. Is it called C Sharp? I, I mean, I saw people, um, I saw videos on YouTube where people were like, oh yeah, you can make this in C Sharp. I was like, wait, is it called C Sharp? Isn't that just like a musical note? Like, oh yeah, this uh, arrangement of music is in C Sharp. I was like, I, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't aware that the programming language was also actually called that. Uh, but I guess apparently it is. Penitentiary. Continue story. It's funny, I love so much to do those, those like, NVIDIA taglines thingy. Um, like, Whopper. NVIDIA. I always love that. I'd say C, C sharp. <laughs> like, for the, I mean, I know like the, um, oh crap, I didn't want to open that. I know the, um, like, you know, in music you have C sharp as like a, I don't know, like a, like a tone or like a key or something. Um, but I'm not sure if in, in programming it's it's called the same. Wait, where are these guys yelling? Where are they? I don't see them. You have C, C++, C, C hashtag, etc. Yeah, but is, is C hashtag, is that called C sharp? Like, if you would refer to it to someone like a colleague, they're like, okay, what do you want me to code that in? Would you say, I want it to be in C sharp? Where is this guy? I hear someone, like, you know, being weird, but I don't see them. Yes, C Sharp? Okay. Then I will call it that from now on as well. Although I, I feel, you know, but I'm not sure if I'm the only one. I feel it should be called C Hashtag. Just saying. Uh, like, like, you know, I think it would that would be so much better. C Hashtag. But then, you know, like, then if you would like to, you know, make a post on Twitter and you want to use the hashtag of the, you know, thing that you're using, then it would have to be hashtag C hashtag. So I'm not sure if that would work, but I don't care. I feel it should still be called that. What did you code this thing in? Oh, oh, gee, there he is. Why do Java programmers wear glasses? Because they don't see hash. <laughs> see? They don't see hash. Paul, the text speech guy, he also, he, he agrees with me. Um, also, Sparky Dolph, hello, hello, how are you doing? I was on stream yesterday, it was so much fun. Oh, crap. I didn't see you there. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Boom. But thank you for those biddies. I appreciate that. Mm, I'm actually surprised with how much fun I'm having with this game. Like, I didn't think I was gonna have, like, you know, no fun. I, di I didn't really feel that, you know, I wasn't gonna like it, but I'm, I'm low-key surprised with how much I do like it. Um, ooh, structural weakness. Let's um, use our explosion gel. 
I forgot, did I come in yesterday? I feel that I saw you with a raid, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, but I, I, it could be that you came in with a raid. I, 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 I seem to recognize, or I seem to remember quickly seeing your name in like the list of all the raid messages. Um, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but regardless, I'm happy that you're here now. Who do you think is the best business person, Batman or Superman? It's obviously Superman. There aren't any bat markets. <laughs> wow, thank you for those biddies. And, and that is a very sharp, C-sharp observation. Not gonna lie. I think that is surprisingly funny. Uh, okay, I have an upgrade. What do I want to upgrade? We can have combo batarang. Powers up during combo so it can be used to knock down thugs. Okay, we can have more health. Batarang power. Mm. Twin. Not available. Remote control batarang. Sonic batarang. Um, multiple frequency detonator, cryptographic range amplifier. Um, ooh, override out of reach control points and open up access to areas that would otherwise be inaccessible. That is actually a good one. Easier deciphering of computer security systems. No, let's get this. Let's get this one. That seems like a pretty good upgrade. Uh, talking about supermarkets, co-op and plus are fusing together. They are. Wow. So they're gonna be like, you know, even more like a bigger supermarket conglomerate, I guess, if you can call it that. Can you call it that? I don't know. Wait, why is there a long hallway here and there's nothing that we can find? That's oh wait, wait, hang on, maybe we need to go up here? No. I don't know, I feel that, you know, why is there like a long sort of like, you know, cat catwalk over there? When there's nothing there. Uh, I got to go to a vault meeting. A vault meeting? Um, Like, you know, a, a video on demand meeting. Uh, but no worries, Sparky. Thanks for stopping by. I hope your meeting goes well. You have a good one. And perhaps we'll see you again later. Maybe that's a very common th term, by the way. I'm just always, like, I always know the term vault. Um... For like, you know, what I do on, on like Twitch, you know, I, I, I create my VOD after I'm done streaming. Here he comes, Mr. J! Oh yeah! Excellent. I'll leave it to you then, my dear. My dear? Get him! Don't get me! Oh, crap. Ah, look, she's not gonna be able to handle it herself. She's, she's, she sends her goons. Let's get a hoit. Oh crap, no! Wait, how am I? Okay, I can also jump up like this. Wait, why can't I just leave? I'll just let them come to me, yeah. Boom! Oh crap, we got Electra's fight fence. Come, jump, dude, what are you doing? Oh, look, oh, good, we actually electrified one of the goons. Exactly what I wanted. Oh crap, I hoped he was uh, still there. Boom! Anyone else? Fried bad wings? No, I'd rather not. Keep hitting me? No, don't keep hitting me. Oh crap, I think they got me. Our co supermarkets will become plus. We'll be the third supermarket in the Netherlands behind all the and Jumbo. Wow. Well, I guess good for them. We don't have we don't have either in my neighborhood, so. 
yeah, I don't really... Yeah, I don't really have anything to say, I guess. Oh, we have to do this again. But now I know what's coming. Can't I just, like, I don't know, do that and be like, Hey, you! Oh, wait, I broke that screen. I wonder if it's going to stay broken in the, uh, in the, um... In the cutscene. Here he comes, Mr. Oh, it is! Oh, that's kind of cool. I like that it actually stays broken in, in the cutscene then, as well. Madea. I'll leave it to you then, yeah. Madea. Get him! No, don't get me. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna kick some ass. Only got super much ass in the kicker. Dun -da -da -da. Do -do 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 -do. You are super annoying. Wait! Why does she say that's got a Hoyt? Is she like from, I don't know, like Boston or something? Boom! A oh, crap! Climb, dude! Oh man, that is so annoying that the climb mechanism doesn't always work as fast as it should. No, 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 no. We aren't gonna kick my ass, okay? Not today. Jump, 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 jump. Okay, good. Don't let him hit you, you idiot. Oh, man, we're almost. Jump, jump. Okay. I think this is the last wave, I hope, but like these guys are. Oh no, crap! I don't think I can get him when he's holding that, that stupid loser thing. That didn't stand a chance! <laughs> mm. I mean, look at me! Look at me! I'd rather not, but... Okay, wait. Can we do, um... I hate that, you know, like, the jumping mechanism doesn't work properly. Like, I, had to, I have to get to these, to, like, the side. Um... And it's like super annoying. Wait, what has four walls? Wait, is there like a clue here? I think there might be in one of these cells. There might be a clue. What has four walls and like an XDA? Hmm. Like that's something I really always hate in like, um... Like, you know, games like these, when the controls are not super responsive. And like, you know, I, w I want to jump, but I can't because, you know, I first need to... I, I need to run up to the thing, then I have to wait, and then I can jump. And that, of course, is like super annoying. Scan me. My face, my ass, I don't care. Scan something. Here he comes, Can we skip this? Yay. Skip? Yeah. Oh crap, this is gonna be the first one. Oh, dude! Okay. If I knew that this was gonna be like coming next, I think I would have upgraded my health first. I hope those other- Ah, oh, those other guys went to the other side. Dang it. I was like, I hope that they get fried, but they didn't. They weren't. Is he okay? I don't think he is. Ooh, that's gonna hoit! Hoit! That's gonna hoit! Okay, buddy. 
I hate it that these guys, yeah. they Come first again. go down and then you have to do like an actual takedown. Yeah. But that doesn't go like as smooth as I hoped it would. Oh wait, are they, they're still on there. Okay, nice. They're getting electrified or electrocuted. Good. Okay, so now the last team is coming in. Uh, my health is pretty much depleted though, almost. So it's not going to be as easy to take them down, I guess. Don't hit me harder. Jump, 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 jump. Okay, good. Sadly, none of them were left behind. Oh, can I kick him off? There we go. Quick, quick, jump. Ooh. Okay, okay. Uh, if only I can, you know, heal myself, which I don't think I can. Which one is it? It's not this one, is it? Oh crap, there's more. Mm. Why is this so hard? Oh, isn't that cute? Me, 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 me. Why is this so hard? <sighs> okay, wait, do I have like other... Oh wait, view controls. Movement, do I have like attack, actions? Strike, grapple. So I don't understand. Like the combat takedown, shift plus that, throw, shift plus that. Oh wait, I can also throw them. Hmm, maybe I need to do that. Maybe I need to like when they're on the ground, I need to throw them onto like the electrifying thing. Um, but very often I get like this shift plus uh, what is it like right mouse button, which is like the combat takedown, and then I press that and nothing happens. I'm like, why, why, what do I need to do in order for that to actually do something? Um. Okay, let's try it again. For like the upteen time. Luckily that was an easy, easily uh, skippable cutscene. I always hate cutscenes that you can't skip, but luckily this one was fairly easy to skip. You hit like an old man. Go up, go up, go up! See, what the hell is that? He's like, he's like sort of jumping and he's not actually like doing the thing that he needs to do. And jump. Okay. See, you guys see what that, what I mean? Like I need to make sure that I stand completely still. Otherwise he can't, he can't jump. Or climb. Which one is it? Over there. Let's turn up the heat. Anyone from Fry Fat No, I'm good. I'm good. What hit me? Is he down? I think he is, yeah. Harley's line might make a good voice clip. Which one? Let's turn up the heat. This'll hurt. Okay, that's one of those assholes with the electrified thingy down. Okay, wait, I think it's... Yeah, I was gonna say, I think... I think that one is gonna... Okay, he's down, he's down. Are they the last ones? Oh crap, it's this one, it's this one. Go, go, go! Is he the last one? Okay, I think he... Oh wait, he's not down, he's not down. Freaking skull. Boom. Was that the last guy? Oh, there's more. Oh, there's more coming. Dang it, I thought this was it. Oh crap, is this one? Okay, go. Come on! No, 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 no! No! Ah, oh, dude, wait, wait, wait! Ah! Oh. Hey, 
Someone hey. help that baby up off the floor. <laughs> Why? That's gotta hurt. Oh, you guys hear it too, right? That she, that she doesn't say that's gonna hurt. It's, she says, that's gotta hurt. <laughs> Like what kind of accent is that? Is like is that like Boston? Like do people in Boston talk like that or like New Jersey perhaps? I don't know. I, I don't think I've ever heard someone say specifically that's got a height. <laughs> oh dang. Inmates with stun batons will damage Batman if attacked directly and cannot be countered. Use evade to jump over them. Oh yeah, that's what I need to. I don't need to use my cape swing. Um but yeah. Boston or New York? Yeah. Uh, I think I, it's something that Peter Griffin would be able to say. Peter, that's got a hoit. <laughs> oh, I hate this game. Why is this so hard? Okay, let's try that for the um, gazillionth time. Yeah. I don't actually hate this game. I just hate the fact that it's it's, it's surprisingly difficult. And that the the you know like like I said the, like jumping on these uh, these elevations is just super annoying. I'm not, I'm not talking about, you know, the song Elevation. Oh, please let me on that. Yeah, there we go. He's, he's fried. Bye. Boom. I'm not dead. You are. In your face. Wow, look at me go. Smash! Let's turn up the Anyone for fried bat wings? No, I'm good. I'm don't I don't need fried bat wings. Ah, see me jumping over you. That's gotta wait. And jump, 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 jump. If you want jump, jump. Oh wait, no, that's not the lyrics. Oh wait, I think I got both of those uh, those guys with the electrified thingies. I, I feel the, the electrified thingies sounds kind of bad, but you, you guys know what I mean, I guess. All right, wait, there's more, there's more. Okay, wait, I know what to do now. I need to jump over them and then get them from behind. Oh crap. Jump, jump, jump. Ooh, okay, just in time. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, counter, count, counter, everyone. Oh, let them stay on. Dang it. I constantly hope that I can let them, you know, make them stay on there. So that they basically kill themselves. Are they all down? No, they're not. Okay, I feel like two more. Okay, let's kick him. Last guy. I hope. Is it the last guy? I think it is. He's oh, we did it. I don't it. I'm on my way now. Oh, we did it. Oops, From you too? Uh, yeah. <laughs> what did I say? Elevation? I yeah. Tried ele my best. <laughs> Sorry, but there is no prize oh. for second place. I'm afraid you're off the party list. <sighs> okay. Luck we next got time. it. <laughs> She's so whiny. I hate her voice. Yeah, Elevation, my no, favorite. Oh, you too, my favorite band. Oh, wait, what's she doing? Oh, we have to fight her? Oh. Hey, hands off the merchandise. That's my party list. Wait, he just. Quiet. Wait, he just grabbed between her boobs. What, what is up with that? To certain names. You're the detective, you tell me. Huh? Wait, what was that? Get it. Yeah. You won't find Mr. J. He's in the secret lab in the gardens and oh crap. <laughs> yep, I know. Damn. Uh, well, he'll get me out. You'll see. You'll see. You'll all see. Okay, bye now. 
Yay, achievements! Oracle, I'm done. Harley is <laughs> subdued. And Harley is <laughs> so subdued. Yes, Harley's been everywhere on the island, so I'm calibrating the scanner to only show prints that have traces of chlorophyll. Okay, listen, be careful. I rerouted a Wayne Tech satellite to show thermal scans of the island. Oh, of course you did. Are showing up hot. Something bad is happening there. Okay. Uh, we have to go to the botanical gardens. I wonder if we're getting close to the end of the game already, because um, I feel that we've played it, you know, quite some, quite for quite a little bit already. But yeah, I don't know. Okay, we have an upgrade. Uh, I feel that maybe now I do want to upgrade my health, uh, which is actually over here. Stop. There we go. We're just going to add an extra layer of whatever it is that is in his suit, and we're going to add like an extra layer of that to it. Um, wait, can I go in here? Um, let's see, where did I? Oh, wait, it came from there. So I can go through here. Um, but I'm wondering if I can actually get up to where she was just now. Help those who are stuck. A map will always help those who are stuck. I wonder if I have to take that like literally. Like, you know, if you are stuck, a map will always help you. Um, wait, how can I get into that control area? Mm -mm -mm. Oh, wait, here we go. Victor has been. All right, that's another tape collected. Oh, we have a lot of um, electrified security gate boxes thingies here, which I think I can all overwrite. Um, with my thing here. Oh wait, should I do that? The wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop, go back. Escape. Oh, I can't disable it anymore. I was thinking, I'm not sure if, I, if I'm gonna do this, if I'm gonna basically release Harley Quinn again. Okay, so that's five. Which one is she in? I need to check that because I don't want to open that one, obviously. Um. Harley Quinn was in number... Which one is this? Two? <laughs> three. Okay, so I don't want to open up three. I wonder if I can, though. I wonder if the game would allow me to open up specifically three, because that would be kind of weird, I guess. I think I could, yeah, but, like, this is three. I think, technically, I could open it, but... Well, let's not, you know, let's not do that. Oh wait, I can't use- oh wait, I can't use it on all of them? Oh, I think I, I could only use it on five. Okay, maybe that's the thing. I can only use it on five. So I- it, it, they did, you know, take that into account that you can't just, you know, open up all of these gates and then she will escape again. That's clever. Okay, so which one did I open? Five? Which is over there? allows me to get another one of these trophies uh, and this is also a um... wait the stupid bat is caught in her trap oh because this thing was closed up now well I'll find an I'll find another way out no worries I think new brick metal and paint covered old wounds. metal and paint fresh blood was injected into the body Bright the body lines came and all swore to uphold our promises. Uphold. We, knew we were the ones to fix this city, and the city would thank us. I still can't get over the fact how much this guy sounds like um Richard Harris from like the first Harry Potter movies, like Dumbledore. Uh, I think the first two, and then after that he was replaced by Someone else, um, because, uh, you know, Richard Harris, uh, you know, he, he died, um, sadly. But this guy, his voice reminds me so much of that. But maybe because it's got, like, you know, this this typical, like, old man British accent. Like, 
Dear Harry, you have been selected to enter Hogwarts Academy for wizardry. Please join us on this joyous occasion. Much love, Dumbledore. I'm pretty sure that all Harry Potter fans are like, dude, what? That was the worst Dumbledore impression ever. For which I do apologize. <laughs> Boom. What? what? Get out of there. Because I'm cool and awesome and you suck. Okay, but how do I get out of here now, though? Because, you know, there's... Um... Wait, how do I get off of this thing? Oh, wait, there we go. I can just jump. Want to know a disturbing fact about laugh tracks from all sitcom shows? Is the fact that they didn't always use the, like, the actual laugh tracks. That they just had, like, pre-recorded ones sometimes and they just, you know, chose the one that fit best. Or is it another... another fact? <laughs> I mean, maybe I know it, but sure. I always love, I, I always love random facts. What has four walls, two sides, and one XDA? I don't know, what has four walls, two sides, and one XDA? I want to say, you know, like one of these cells, obviously, because... Like, what else could it be? Is there like a, um... Oh wait, That's both? Ah, there we go. But between you and me, I the the that the laugh tracks are actually the ghosts of the dead coming back to haunt the show. <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> I mean, you know, like one of my favorite sitcoms ever, Friends, uses laugh tracks. Uh, like, wh whose people are coming back to haunt this show? <laughs> Two people, one voice, no gun, is another clue. Hmm, what could be that? What could be the hint in that? Especially the one voice, like what could be the one voice part of that clue? All the pre-recorded uh, tracks are basically dead folks laughing because they've been in new, in new since the 30s. Oh, that's kind of cool, though. I mean, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with the uh, Wilhelm scream, um, which is basically a famous screaming sound effect that has been used in um, like so, so many movies and TV shows. Um, and if you hear it, you probably, like, if you hear the Wilhelm scream, you probably are like, oh yeah, I've heard that in, in movies. Um, but that's also like a, that's just one ling little sound bite. Um, and they use that in like, well, I don't want to say all all movies ever, but like in so many movies, they, they have used that. Which I think is pretty cool. And once you know it, and once you hear it, you will be like, you will go to your next movie and you'll be like, hey, wait, I just heard the Wilhelm scream. Like you will, you will start noticing it. I heard some shows would just take the best quality collective laughs from that airing. Yeah, and also, I mean, what they sometimes also have to do is when... Um, sometimes there's like a scene, like, you know, in, in some sitcoms you can tell that the actors are waiting for the audience to, you know, kind of stop laughing. Like in Friends you see that very often, like they make a joke and then the audience starts laughing and then the other person doesn't instantly respond because they have to wait for like the audience to, you know, be quiet again so they can, you know, continue the conversation. So they just stand there being like... Like as if they're li like if they're like hello, are you gonna say something? Um, but sometimes they like when when that happens or when they didn't properly time that out, they need to cut down on the laugh. So they basically just t you know delete the laugh that they have from that are that is actually recorded and they replace it with like a shorter one so it fits better in the uh, in the edit. Uh, Tricks, welcome back. E he he, hoo hey, hoo hey. <laughs> Was that your rendition of the Wilhelm scream? It's basically an Easter egg at this point. The Wilhelm scream. Yeah, I, I love it. I learned about that in in college. I thought it was so interesting. 
Like this, uh, like m one of my film teachers talked about that. And I was like, wow, that is so cool. Jesus Christ, stop it, Siri. What the hell was that? When you don't expect to suddenly hear a voice and it comes up in your headphones. That's that's Siri for you. And I said this many times. Whenever I actually, you know, like address him and it's like, hey, trigger word, it, it never listens. And then when I don't want it to listen, it suddenly starts talking. A case of mistaken identity. Oh wait, I know what that is. I think. Um. Oh wait, but I don't. I can't go there through here. There we go. But yeah, I I learned a lot of like these um like interesting facts in 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 like film school or you know like in in college. Uh, in like my film classes and I always love them like I always love these uh I I always th thought like those kind of things were like the most interesting okay where do I go I'm a little bit lost okay I am here wait we have riddles that are flying in this area okay but I need to go Arkham Island okay so I need to go here so I need to exit out of here then I need to go through here and then I need to take this door to that exit okay so let's go back out here But I love it. I think I think like even the most like serious movies, like it's not just like the Wilhelm scream is not just used in like, you know, comedic movies where it's like, oh, we can have like a fun little, um, you know, like a, a fun little Easter egg. They also used in like very serious movies and I kind of like that. Um, I mean, I, I would love to be the editor of a movie like that and be like, OK, I'm just going to like I'm going to sneak it in somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to do it yet, but I'm going to sneak it in somewhere. And then you get to. You know, be the guy that was like, okay, we're going to edit in this scene. And then you're going to edit in there because you think it's the best scene for it. Oh, okay. look, we got another one of those. Boom. Speaking of movies, has anyone seen any good movies lately? Um, cinemas are now, I believe, you know, open again for a little bit here. And I haven't been to a cinema in, like, forever. But we still have, like, you know, gift certificates or, like, gift cards for, for movies. Um, so yeah, we want to go to a movie again at some point, but we don't know yet which one. I wanted to go to Free Guy with, uh, Ryan Reynolds, but we didn't have time to do that. Uh, I'm not sure if it's still, if it's still, like, you know, playing. But that, that movie seemed like so much fun. I also haven't seen Black Widow yet, which I'm partially sad about, partially not, because I mean, I've seen all Marvel movies basically as soon as I, um, as soon as they came out. Um, but you know, I'm not super, if I'm being very honest, as much as I hate it, like being a big Marvel fan, I'm not super duper excited for like, you know, some of the upcoming Marvel movies. And I I, I kind of hate that because I, I always love Marvel films and I'm sure they're going to be fun. But like, um, I'm not super excited for Shang, Shang, Shang Ri uh, and the, the thingy of the Ten Rings, the secret of the Ten Rings. I don't know exactly what the name of the movie is. Um, I wasn't super excited for the Black Widow movie, even though I like Black Widow as a character. But like, I think it's like she's the only like recognizable character in that movie and then you have like all these side characters that we don't know yet and then in the Shang the the Shang-Chi movie um like I don't know any of those characters because I've never read a Shang-Chi um comic so like I have no idea who the, those people are um so yeah watching compilation of the a compilation of the Wilhelm scream wait are you did you never hear about that before is this like your first time that you heard that yeah and then you go watch a compilation and you're like oh wow yeah it is in like Many, 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 many movies. <laughs> I always went to the Marvel Ring Guy movie. Shang Chi. Yeah, why didn't you go? You you weren't you weren't excited or? Are you super excited for the Spider Man movie? That I am. Yes. Oh, December seventeenth, I guess sixteenth. That I am super excited for. 
Um, because we've, like, if you've seen the trailer, oh man, I, there's one thing that I, that I feel they haven't shown yet, and if that is gonna be the case, then this movie is gonna be, I mean, I'm biased, because I love, I mean, you guys know how much I love Spider-Man, but if, if, if the things that have been rumored are gonna happen, then this movie is gonna be the most insane, epic, amazing Spider-Man movie uh, ever. And I'm so excited. I really hope they, they, they do that, though. I really hope that the rumors are going to be true. Um, because, yeah. I didn't grab my seat right away to join some friends. Ah, okay, that's that's annoying. And I'm also pretty excited for the new uh, Doctor Strange movie, but I'm thinking that's going to be next year. Like, early 2022, I guess. Not entirely sure, but I think so. Um, the new Doctor Strange. Which I'm also pretty excited. I mean, I love Doctor Strange as a character. And then I think we also are going to get a new uh, Captain America movie at some point. I'm not exactly sure when. Uh, but at some point, they're going to do a new Captain America movie with uh, Anthony Mackie instead of uh, Steve Rogers. Which, you know, is also fun. But I guess I, I, loved, I loved Steve Rogers as Captain America. So, you know, that's, that's kind of a bummer. Um... Oh, what else? Yeah, we got a new Guardians of the Galaxy coming up, I think, in, like, next year, maybe, or, like, two years, perhaps? 2023, maybe? I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, I got an itch on my feet because I got, like, a mosquito bite there. Like, on the most, on, like, literally on my ankle, which is the worst position for, like, a mosquito bite ever. And I know I shouldn't scratch, but, you know, I'm weak. Okay, wait. Where's the garden exactly? So I'm here. Oh, dude, I didn't want to do that. Wait, I'm here. Okay, so I need to go through there and then I can go through the garden there. Okay, so I need to go through that one. So let's take down this guy. Just so he's out of the way. At least I think he's going to be out of the way. He's not. Okay. Now he is. Can I just keep running? But yeah, that's a little bit like, that's kind of why I'm, I mean, not necessarily scared for like the future of the MCU, but more like less excited because, you know, like after the close, like after the end of the Infinity Saga, um, like basically all known characters, they kind of, you know, their, their story arcs were, were over for a lot of them. Like, I mean, of course we've got a new Thor movie coming up. We've got a new Guardians of the Galaxy, but like some of my favorite characters, their, their arcs were, they are over. And I'm kind of sad by that. I mean, Iron Man is that like I think after Spider Man, I think Iron Man is my favorite um, character in the MCU. But you know, he well, for those of you who haven't seen it, you know his faith is um, not great. Sadly. So yeah. Also, I'm wondering with like the upcoming movies, I'm wondering if um, how much there will be like crossover between the Disney Plus TV shows and like the actual movies. Because I mean, part of me can totally understand if they want to do um, like a crossover. But then also like they, it would be kind of annoying that for people that didn't get a chance to see those TV shows. Um, that like if they don't understand things because they haven't seen, they didn't have a chance to see them. So I kind of feel that they might do some crossovers or like, you know, some sort of things that, you know, start in the TV shows and then end in like the movie. But I don't think they'll make it too much, I reckon. Because I, yeah, I don't know. I feel it would be, it would be kind of weird. Like I haven't seen any of the Disney Plus TV shows just yet. Um, both because we don't have Disney Plus and because I just, you know, I think I said this last time as well, I just didn't have the time or the, the, the focus to, you know, watch all of them. Oh crap, there's someone coming. Someone is coming. Sign up for the Titan program has so far exceeded all expectations. Due to this unprecedented demand, I have declared it mandatory for all members of my staff. Dude, I was in the middle of something. I don't think we'll, there will be a lot of tie-ins. They might do movies based on TV series, though. 
Yeah, I mean, I was kind of bummed that, like, Loki got its own TV show, but, like, I wish... It would be so cool if he got, like, his own movie as well. Oh, there we go. Disney shows are great. Scarlet Witch show is amazing. I do definitely want to watch them. I'm, I'm mostly excited for to watch uh, Loki and the um um Loki and the other one, the Captain America, the what is it like the da 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 and the Winter Soldier. I'm mostly excited to watch those. But one division I also definitely want to see. And the what if, like this new animated show that they have uh, they have now. Uh what if also sounds pretty pretty cool. Which I think is also the last um the last thing that um Chadwick Boseman ever actually um uh, voice recorded. Is the number up for these guards? I don't know. Loki good. <laughs> Loki good. Winter Soldier was extremely political. I didn't like it that much, but I kind of dealt with modern day political issues. I don't mind that for shows. It kind of depends. Um, like, I mean, if they if they kind of, you know, make like humor out of it, I kind of, you know, I, I'm okay with that. Um, or if they kind of, you know, make some statements. On, like if they just poke at like modern no political issues, then I'm okay with that as well. Um, all right, so I need to go down there, but I need to somehow kind of you know get past these guys since they have guns and I do not. Which I still don't understand. Like, there's so many guys that want to, you know. He's here! I am here, yes. But I have nowhere to hide, though. So, like, how can I... Oh, wait, wait. They go that way. So maybe I can... Oh, wait. No, they split up. What are they doing? Are they going to stay there? Gonna I'm going to have holes where my face used to be. Okay. Uh, rude. And can I get behind them? That would be kind of cool. Crap, he's... What is he doing? Why does it, Why was he not paying attention? What is up with that? I was... I feel that I was like literally in front of his face and he was not paying attention. I think it was centered around racial issues, which is good that it was talked about. It was just kind of slow. Alright, there we go. My internet is being wonky. I should be back another time. Have a great stream. No worries, tricks. Uh, I'm sorry to hear about your internet, but hopefully it will resolve itself soon. But thanks for, for hanging around. Hanging, hanging, hanging around. Wow. Speak is difficult today. Hard, hard, hard to speak. Words are, words is hard. Boom. Uh, Darth Killer, hello. You're supposed to rush them with smoke. I don't have smoke. I'm not sure what that means. But we fix it. So, you know, it's all good. Oh, wow. What time? What is what time is tea time in Wonderland? Okay, so wait, we have a lot of... We have a lot of bad guys with guns here. Boom, what bye. Okay, five hostiles are armed. How come the door? I think I think it's still five, even though I took down one. So let's try and stay up here and make a good plan. 
You have smoke pellets from the beginning? Six gadget on PC? I don't have smoke pellets. Look, I got I got these. I got four. Batarang, explosive gel, bat claw, cryptographic send sequencer. Uh, but still, I prefer to kind of figure things out by myself, so uh, I appreciate the tips, but please do keep in mind that I don't uh, I don't prefer backseat gaming. Don't go down. Crap. Well, I can take you down as well. It's fine. I love it when they start screaming and nobody is like thinking of looking up to us and like, wait, who is screaming and why are they screaming? Nobody seems to sort of notice. We gotta find him or we're next, you hear me? You are next. One of you is gonna be next. I'm not sure yet who is gonna be, but you know, one of you. We got bigger problems. Find the bat. Wait up, I'll watch your back. Yeah, watch watch your back. Oh wait, I can't do like an inverted takedown thing because I think um one is already hanging here. Oh, that's a shame. Otherwise I could do like another one. If he can see that it's four to one, then why doesn't he give them like some kind of hints as to where I am? I uh, clearly he can see that you know I am nearby, but he doesn't. He doesn't think of you know letting them know where I am. All right, so that's. Boom. And back up. Oh crap, they saw me. I love how easily you can lose them. So convenient. All right, let's wait for them to be separated. Oh wait, can I actually do an inverted takedown on him? I can. I'm, I'm taking you down. That's what I'm doing. And now I can do a glide and kick him in the face. Oh crap, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, well that also works. Wasn't my plan, but it does work. Really? He beat you all again. I did, what yes. What does it take? An army of monsters? <laughs> Wait, I don't like the sound of that. Why did he giggle when he said an army of monsters? Does he have an army of monsters? I hope he doesn't, because I don't I'm not as sure if I'm equipped to handle monsters. So I hope it wasn't like a weird giggle. I hope it was just, you know. Don't send monsters in, in my way. Oh yeah, let's take a shower because my, my suit is probably dirty from all this fighting. Like sweaty and such. Oh, look, wait, look at this. We can blow up some wall here. Boom! Mm. Oh, where is this taking us? Ah, another trophy. Noise. So Chad, how was everyone's weekend and how was everyone's start of the uh, Monday? Hopefully y'all had a nice weekend. For those of you that I didn't see yesterday, of course. Or if you would like to share something on, you know, about your weekend that you didn't yesterday, that's of course all good as well. But I hope you had a nice time. All right, let's follow these wires. Wait, they go up here. Hmm. Oh wait, there's a there's a thing there. Nice. I thought I made them easy to find. I was stupid I on Subnautica so. Hardcore. Ooh. I've yet to play Subnautica. I definitely want to though, but I haven't played it yet. Remember the Waynes? How could anyone forget? Do they have like their own statue in the... Oh wait, is this one of them? No. Is this one of them? No. Is this plaque? Say anything? Subject too small? I mean, I, I didn't make it this small, but I think this plaque is what we're looking at. Do I need to jump on? Wait, I, okay, so clearly this subject is here, but... 
Do I need to jump on this bench in order to capture it? Or like, what does it want me to do? Or oh, is it the statue actually? Wait, maybe I need to look at the statue? Can I zoom in? I don't think I can. I can zoom my view. Wait, how did I do that again? Tap, no. Control. Um. F. Wait, there was a way for me to zoom my view. Um. Zoom, Z. Of course it's Z. There we go. I'm losing patience. No. You're cheating. You must be. I'm not. I'm just smart. Your riddles are just not always as as tricky. All right. Moving on. Destroyed five Joker teeth. Is this where I need to go next? Um, might be. I don't know. Oh boy. Uh, please. I'm not important. I can't help you. You're lucky the boss don't want you hurt too bad. Said something about you being a perfect bait. You don't get it. You're nothing special. Who's gonna save you? Yeah. And just in case someone does decide to try, we're ready and waiting. Yeah. Stop no, I will stop you, yeah. Here I am. Get him on the Here I am. Rock you like a He's hurricane. I love it when they go, go like, punch him again! And like, no, don't punch me again, please! Hit him again! Oh, I'm gonna stick this so far up your ass, you're gonna be choking on it? Dude, that's kind of kinky to like, you know, get consent first before you do something like that. He's down. Oh, in the crown jewels, I think. You gonna cut me free anytime soon? No, I'm actually good. I'm gonna watch you sit there for a little bit. You know, just just saying, because you know why not? If you're gonna if you if you're gonna have to be nasty about it, I literally just saved your ass. Now you're gonna be like like sassy. Hey, Gizmo, how are you doing? Consent is sexy, henchman guy. Gosh, I know, right? Consent is sexy. Thanks. Are you okay? Always be sure to ask consent. I'm fine. I eat punks like these for breakfast. Oh. What were they doing in here? I'm fine. The ones that weren't hitting me went over there and started doing something to the power controls. I have no idea what they were doing. It's funny, I was, um... How are you, by the way? Yeah, I guess my, I'm, I didn't ask, but how are you? I was, um... Looks you know, like Joker has booby-trapped this At, at this, uh, pup so meeting, uh, last Saturday. Before. But it's a risk um, I'll need to take. And like, you know, as a puppy, when I was playing with others, this this one uh, guy came over and like, you know, gave me belly rubs and everything. And then later, we were just, you know, like, we were just standing there. We were kind of cleaning up the place and, and, and chatting and everything. And then he started giving me belly rubs as well. And then this other guy was like, wait, did you even ask consent? And he was like, no, I did not. <laughs> but he was like, well, I think if he didn't want it, he would probably look different at me or step away. And I also did it to him when he was like a puppy, so I assumed it was fine, but I should have asked first. And I was like, yeah, well, you're good, but <laughs> I thought it was kind of like a funny interaction. Maybe it's not as funny when I say it like this. Maybe you should have been there. Probably, but yeah. Wait, are we gonna, are we gonna destroy this thing or not? Oh, wait. Got it. Last one. Mm, mm, no. Oh, wait, I think I need to be fast, otherwise they're gonna reset. Yeah, got it, got it. Oh, good, okay. I think it was gonna reset again if I wasn't fast enough. Also, look at these console, these, con these, you know, these consoles. They kind of remind me of, um, Fallout. 
I finished my work and I'm on the way home. I'm uh, running the store tomorrow. Can't wait. Oh, wow. You, you are like in charge. That's so cool. Is that like a promotion or is it just like, you know, your day of, of being in charge of, of the place? But still, that's so cool. So what are what are some things that like are going to be your responsibility when you run the store? Like, do you have to do something uh, special, like extra, or are you are you going to be the person that's telling other people like, hey, you're going to do this and you're going to do that and you're going to do this as well? I'll stay here. The Joker's men may try to retake the generator. Okay. So what's up with these things here? Because I need to go there, but. I'm not sure if I can, can I? Oh, I can actually, okay. I was gonna say, can I disable that thing from over here? If you can just sit still, I can, you know, better read the, the, this thing. Wait, there we go. Boom. Zoom. Um, another map. I think the interaction sounds super cute. I'm glad you got all the battle reps. Yeah, it was it was kind of cute though. This this other guy, I've been talking to him, uh, you know, before before Saturday, and he's super kind. He actually also won the uh, Mr. Puppy Netherlands competition in 2020, which is kind of you know it's kind of nice. But I thought I th I just thought it was funny, like he j him just sort of instinctively you know giving me like the belly reps when we, when we were just chatting. And, you know, I didn't mind, like, I, I you know, I, I, I enjoy getting belly rubs, so, I mean, I was like, yeah, it's fine. Um, but I thought it was, like, funny when he was like, well, he didn't look at me like he didn't want it, so I figured it was okay. <laughs> but I should have asked, yes. <laughs> uh, okay, so where do I go next? I'm kind of confused. Oh, wait, I'm actually, oh, oh, wait, I think we're done here, so I need to go in here, and then I probably need to go over there. Yeah, probably, so we just go back out. Statue Corridor. Well, aren't you the persistent Am I the persistent one? Well, obviously, I mean... That's always one step ahead. Of course! Isn't that like, you know, why I'm here? Before I have an army of titan monsters at my fingertips. What time... What time is tea time in Wonderland? Being carried through the streets, is that like a clock anywhere here? Over the corpses of all those innocent citizens. Hmm, what, what could that riddle mean? What time is tea time in Wonderland? Uh, yeah, I think we have to go in here. Oh, cutscene. You need to stop this now before it goes too far. <laughs> oh, jeez. At this rate, you'll never catch me. Wait, there's a giant gaping hole in like the top of your explosion. So to find a way through this mess. I don't know. I feel that it shouldn't be too hard, but who am I? Okay, let's get my final health upgrade because I feel like I can definitely use that in like the upcoming battles and such. Uh, it's just me and another colleague, so I'm just going to turn off the alarm, set up the tills, and do some banking for the last week's profits, as well as web orders, cleaning, and general retail stuff. Nice though. I mean, at least I think it's nice to just have, like, you know, some kind of, um, like, just, you know, like a, a different thing that you normally do. When I, like, my last job that I had was, um, I was, oh, crap. Hang on. Oh, we're good. We're good. I, I was with my feet. I was just playing, in, like, in front of me, and there was a cable that I yanked, but we're good. But my last job, I was also like, you know, one of part of the of the leadership team. And I really enjoyed that because it's not that I'm like necess necessarily like a born leader, but I just enjoy um, like, you know, being able to sort of doing like j j just that little step extra of like just, you know, the things that you normally do, if that makes sense. Um, This way. Wait, what's that? Okay, 
Okay, I don't know what that was, but we found a clue. I don't know what this is, but... It seems nasty. Um... Alright. Yeah! I really wonder if we're getting close to the end of the game. Uh, I mean, I thought before that we did, but now I'm not so sure anymore. All right. Mm. This challenge can only be seen by those with a different view on life. So like detective mode, perhaps? What is that? Oh wait, he's making some he's making some kind of noise. What is he doing? Please don't tell me he's making another like terrible monster that we have to fight. I kind of feel that he is though. I kind of feel that that's exactly what we have to do. It totally makes sense. I feel like a supervisor as my colleague is a part-timer. Gizmo might come to work too. We'll see how he feels. Nice! Yeah, if he enjoys, you know, getting uh, out of the house, then definitely, uh, definitely take him. Oh crap, they saw me? Okay. Boom! Oh, in the nuts! Hello, sir. Are you okay? Mr. Jordan Fraser? Are you okay? <laughs> Do I look okay? They were gonna kill me. But they didn't. We were in the aviary hiding out. And they came in with Joker shooting up the place and loaded us into cages. Oh, are they still in there? <laughs> oh man, no one's come out since. You got to help them. Stay here. I, I don't know. I kind of don't like how sort of matter of factly Batman always is. Are you okay? And this guy has like an entire sort of monologue and he's like, are they still in there? You stay here. Like it doesn't come off like very natural. To me, but maybe that's just me. Anyway, chat, I'm gonna take a very quick break because uh, I need to take a bio break and I need to, uh, I wanna get something new to drink. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna leave you guys with some music to listen to. Uh, and then once I come back, we're gonna, uh, you know, we're gonna continue with the rest of the game. But for now, thanks again to everyone that is here with us tonight. I appreciate that. I appreciate you all. Um, thank you for joining me and I will see you in a couple of minutes when I return. Be right back.
I am back. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, sorry that it took slightly longer, but I'm here. I quickly had to check up on uh, the puppy who was uh, alone inside. But everything is fine. I got something new to drink. I took a bio break and I'm ready to tackle new challenges that may um, appear in the game. So, uh, yeah, let's see what we're going to be up to again. So hopefully everyone else is still doing good. Again, thanks for being here with us on this Monday evening. Or Monday time zone for you guys, of course. Depending on where you live. Ooh, wait, how can we get to the other side? There's a trophy there. I don't think we can just, you know, swing it. But we came through here. Hmm. How are we going to get to the other side? Maybe later we get in like a, like something we can unlock. Uh, let's see, we have, oh wait, we need to go there. And we are here. Wait, we are here. Wait, okay, so I'm, I don't need to go this way then. I guess. Oh, this is where he blew up that... Okay, yeah, this is where he blew up the uh, path to go forward. Um, but then... Where? Okay, we have to go this way, I guess. Where? Well, well, well. There's no closet in the garden, so someone must be using, using the roof instead. Me. Someone! Get me out of this thing! <laughs> Listen! The back is Listen. away! If you see him, send the annoying doctors to hell! That's the down one, right? Yeah! They're going down! Yeah! It's funny, this guy was like, you know, he had like some kind of scar around his head and like this this giant chain or collar or whatever you want to call that. These men are all wearing the security collars. I'll need to take out the operator first. Okay. Oh, they're wearing security collars. Kinky. How are we going to do that, though? Oh wait, that actually took it out. <gasps> Simon take down, boom. I know you're here. Travel, boy. I'm not here. Ah oh, crap, how did he knew that? Okay, skip. Too easy. Played you like a violin and cut your Okay. Can we skip this? Someone, get me out of this. Can we skip this? Yeah, we can. Good. Joker's men are all wearing the security colors. Okay, so there was a um. First. Okay, let's see. Can I go in there before this guy comes in? Be quiet. Yeah, take it to the side quietly. Okay, let's go in. Um. Joker wants him stopped, I'm gonna do it. I like how he first slowly pushes the, uh... Oh! Oh, I was gonna say, like, he slowly first pushes that thing to the side and then he, uh, gets out. Okay, so we need to go in there. But we can't... I mean, I don't think we can go through, like... Yeah, how do we... How does he plan on, on like, how can we go further? Like, there's a little elevation there, which I guess we could theoretically take, but... Hmm. Can we just glide here? Okay, there, that did work. Okay. Not 
try and mess with us. Yeah. All right, so I do think I need to take out that guy. Otherwise, I don't think I can get past him. So I'm hoping I can take him out without them seeing me doing so. That would be nice. Why can't I do a gliding attack on him? Am I too high? Oh crap, no, 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 crap! Oh no, I... Dang it, I, wrong, wrong button. Wrong button. Like I wanted to do the silent takedown, not the, not the loud takedown. Although maybe I can't do the takedown because I'm maybe that will actually alert him. Get me out of this thing. But I'm, I feel that I should. I feel that, that I have to because how else am I going to get past first. that one guy? Like I feel there's no way I can, I'm going to get past that one guy without taking him down. But I think if I take him down, then the, the security collar thing is going to go off. I think. But we'll see. Let's let's try it again. He doesn't stand a chance. Not a chance. Not a chance. Well, I mean, I did pretty good just now as well. So, like, you know, I'd reconsider my 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 thing, the things that I say. Okay, so I don't think. Can I take him down? That's the question because I don't think. Like, there's no way I'm going to be able to get past this guy without him seeing me. I guess. Unless I can shimmy to over this side, but... But I don't think I can. Can I shimmy? Oh, I can, though. Batman better not try and mess with us. Ooh, okay, so wait, so maybe then I can get past him. Okay, hang on. Okay, let's go down. No, climb down. There we go. Open this. Maybe there's something that I need to get behind there. That was clever, though, the shimmy. Shimmy shake. I didn't realize that was going to work, but I'm happy that it did. Um, wait. Is this good or bad? Oh wait, I think I'm gonna get behind the um, control room like this. I I I hope. Yeah. He doesn't stand a chance. Not a chance. All right, so he's gonna walk forward, and then I'm gonna climb down and wait for him to come, and then I'm gonna take him out. Okay, climb down. So I'm gonna take down. Good, okay. I've incapacitated the main threat, but the hostages are still in danger. Yeah, but now at least we can take out like the others. So these guys are still a threat, obviously. But I'm not sure if they can actually get inside there and then, you know, take out those other guys themselves. I'm not sure if that is an option. But there's like, what, three? Yeah, two other guys. Okay, so this one and the other one. I'm sure there used to be more of you down there. But, I, so, but this is kind of easy, so... Wait, is that a takedown? I think it was. Yeah, all right, good. Wait, who is doing this? Am I doing that? Or is that just the game doing that? However, they're safe, so that's all that matters. Hurry! <laughs> I don't know why I, I, I just tried to recreate your emote. Pick up Harley's trail again so I can find it. How are you? Thanks for joining. 
Um, all right, so where is Harley's trail? Exactly. Hello. I'm sorry. I thought I was working for Dr. Young. I had no idea Joker was involved until he burst in the lab. That's okay. Where is the lab? <laughs> Back over there. I always get buzzed through. There's a hidden door, but, well, you know, it's hidden. I'll find it. Stay here. I can't with his, like, his matter-of-factness of speaking. Where is the lab? I'll find it. Stay here. I mean, he knows there's a hidden door, so can't he just, I don't know, like, give me a hint as to where this hidden door is? Perhaps. Uh, I'm good. Hope you're doing well, too. I am. I am. Thank you for asking. Um, oh, wait. There was actually another way that I could get there. Okay, so we have to find the hidden door. Uh, which I assume is... Wait, did I came? Oh, I came from here, I guess. So, oh, wait, I need to go back. I, I don't think it need, it's here. I think I just need to go back. Um, so let's try that. It looks like all the king's horses trampled all the king's men. What kind of riddle is that? All the king's horses trampled all the king's men. Yeah, so there should be a secret door here somewhere. Because, I I mean, I guess I need to go to that side. But, like, clearly that's not going to happen. Um, hey, kid, do you happen to know about a secret door? Who takes over a freaking garden? What do they want? I don't know. I wonder how secret the door is as well. Like... Is it, like, you know, secret as in we, we will never find it? Or is it more... Like, you know, I will light up when you get close. Oh, wait, wait. Can we get out here? On the roof? No. I think it must be here, though. I don't think that secret door was... Where we just were. Um, unless there's, like, a button on this thing. Huh? Um, let's see. Either a high wall or an egg chicken farm? Wait, that's where you will find the secret door, or...? I'm confused. I'm confused! Alright, let's go back. Wait, this goes all the way back, and we need to go... I think we need to be here, so I don't think... Because there's no other... Yeah, there's no other ways to get there. The riddle? Oh, with the with the madman and the horses? Okay, wait, let's go back. It's Humpty Dumpty's nursery rhyme. Oh! That's clever. There's no closet in the garden, so someone is using the roof instead. Which is also kind of a weird... Oh wait, maybe there's something up there. Okay, hang on. How cool is it if you have like an ability like that? Okay. Um... Okay, so there's no Harley Quinn, like, fingerprints or anything here. Um, but maybe back here that I have missed. What's up with the, like, the, the, the hay or, like, the straw, whatever it is? Also, what is this? There's, like, a face in the wall. It's where the hostages were just saved were? Harley's trail? They were like, where is her trail? So, I think I need, yeah, I think I need to kind of catch up on her trail, but, like, where is it? Oh, 
Oh wait, here we have. Ah, hello. See, that was secret, but it wasn't super hidden though. And I'm also not sure if this was a door. I hate that I now sort of discovered that these are like slightly time based. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Got him. Ah. Okay, well, that was definitely a hidden door. I'm not sure how, like, that didn't seem super sturdy, like it was pretty wobbly, but I'll take it. Oh, wait, wrong game. Sorry, that was, that was. That was from Zelda, obviously. <laughs> Hello. Well, look who's discovered our secret lab. Since you've made it this far, let me show you what I cooked up. Hey guys, why don't we, you know, like not fight? Wait, what did he do? Oh. Oh. Hello. I mean, I feel that most guys go to the gym to, um, you know, get get buff and and like you know muscular. But I'm guessing these guys do not. Okay, how am I gonna take these guys down? Oh wait, are they gonna? I'm. I'm guessing I'm gonna take them down the same way as I did with um, Bane. Yeah, probably. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, they have... I was gonna say, they don't have, um... They don't have, like, health bars, but they do. Which is good. Okay, wait, this other guy is still down. Crap, I can still take him down! Okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I'm... I'm wait, I'm on top of him. Wait, what do I do? What do I do? Do I need to push, like, a button, or is he just gonna... I don't know, like, kill himself, or... Oh, he, he's hurting the other guy. Okay, that's convenient. Okay, I'm not sure if that was supposed to happen, but I don't know. I, I, it, it, yeah, I don't know. It looks painful. It does not look very pleasant, no. Like, I'd run, I, I think I'd still rather go to the gym if I want to get, you know, muscular. Instead of getting injected with some kind of poison... something. Okay, I'm not sure exactly what... Oh, wait, wait. Oh, I can control this guy. When I'm on top of him, I can sort of make him go in a certain direction, I guess. Oh, I think that's the idea. Boom! All right. Okay, well, now that we know how we're going to have to uh, fight them... That's definitely going to be helpful. All right, get up, horsey. All right, the one, the one guy is almost down. Oh, he actually hit the other guy too. So convenient when they just keep hitting each other. Or, you know, throwing stuff into each other. That's even, even more convenient, I guess. Yeah, which one is gonna come after me? You got, you are? Oh crap. Oh wait, he's almost down, he's almost down. Okay, that's one guy down. Now I just need to take care of this guy. Wait, is he down? No, he's not actually yet down. Crap. But his health bar was down though. Boom! Okay, wait, I need to actually finish him in order for them to properly be down. Okay. Oh crap. him we did it Oracle 
I've destroyed the Titan production facility. The Titan production the facility. escaped with enough to cause us real problems. Just when you think it can't get any worse. I know, They've right? Been using a venom plant hybrid to create the Titan strain. The plant's the key. And there's only one person on Arkham Island who can help us. And what makes you think Poison Ivy will help you? If her plants are at risk, she'll listen. I have a sample of her pheromone signature on record. Oh. She'll be somewhere in the gardens. I'll track her down. Okay. I still think if I would be a superhero, I would just wear like, you know, the superhero suit. I still feel that wearing a cape is only like a liability. I can get stuck behind things, you know, enemies can grab it and like swing me like a rodeo thing. Um, I don't know, I, I think I would ever, I, I would want everything to be as tight as possible so that you can't get stuck on like, you know, like objects or enemies can grab you or anything like that. But, but you know, who am I? Maybe, uh, maybe There's some no superheroes like the flare that a uh, cape brings. I need to go back the way I came. Now, oh, what was up with the elevator, chef? I need to go back the way I came. Okay. Like the Flash? Yeah, exactly. Or like, you know, like like Spider-Man or like, um, I don't know, like many other superheroes. I just feel that a cape is just is only like a liability. I mean, it looks cool and you can, you know, like you can do whoosh when you when you go away. But like, is it really, is the, is the added flair really worth like the potential danger? I'm going to need something to get over this ravine. Wait, what? Did you do something or? Oh, what the hell is that? Oh, jeez. Wait, what is that? Oh, the line launcher. Okay. Not gonna lie. Um. Not gonna lie, that was a pretty extra way of getting like an, another, uh, you know, like another tool. Um, like, not, I mean, you know, he could have just, I don't know, like maybe ordered it from like Amazon or something with like super speedy quick delivery. But no, he decided to call in his own jet, uh, make it fly through like the glass, you know, domed roof of this building. And then it just dropped off like this little pod. That's it. Kind of a little bit over the top, but you know, who am I, right? In Batman's case, the cape is also a glider and a shield, but your point stands for Superman. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I like superheroes in tight outfits. I'm not gonna lie, I, uh, you know, I... I... <laughs> that's a very good point. But, you know, not just, not just that, but also for, you know, the fact that I feel that it's better in terms of, well, practicality. Oh, this is such a cool thing. I'm, I'm definitely gonna be able to use this in certain other areas as well. Now I can go find Ivy. Yes. Can I just now do this? Ah, oh, look at the amount of time that's gonna save me. Perfect. All right. Looks like all the king's horses trampled on all the king's men. Okay, so we're looking for either an egg, you guys said, or a high wall, because it was a Humpty Dumpty nursery rhyme. Um. I haven't seen an egg, I feel. I am also not sure if I've seen like a high wall. Also, where's this guy? Wasn't he like here just like just now? Uh, but maybe over there, seeing as, you know, that's where I can now go to. Boom. All right, that's definitely a very convenient tool. I like that. Challenge unlocked. Shock and awe. Hello? It's alright, my darlings. I'm here now. My poor darlings. Yes. Yes, I know he's found us. 
But I won't let him hurt you. I'll kill him first. Ivy, I know Dr. Young mutated these plants to produce venom. Yes. And I heard it through the grapevine, the evil woman paid the price. I heard it through the grapevine. <laughs> I need you to help me create an antidote. Why should I? Let Joker have his fun. I'll enjoy watching you squirm. I don't like the squirm, though. Oh! Oh, wait, that actually physically hurts, huh? You've been in the dark too long. Every plant on this island will get the same unless you cooperate. There's a plant growing deep in Arkham Island. Only it can counter the effects of this Titan strain. Where do I find it? <laughs> oh, in Killer Croc's lair. You didn't think it would be easy, did you? No, I did not. Go back to your cell, or I'll be after you next. And I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting. For a Batman like you to come and water my plants. Oracle, I need to find a way into Killer Croc's lair. It's somewhere below Arkham Island. There's nothing on the system about where he's kept. I found a door near the Batcave, but it's shut tight. There's got to be another way in. I left guard Cash in the mansion. I'll see if he can shed some light on where Croc's kept. Yeah, go back and play with that bitch for a few more hours. The boss isn't ready for you yet. <laughs> okay, I'm not necessarily. I don't feel like going back. How many guys are there, though? Can we see that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine guys. And that's just one of me. Okay, well. She's a biokinetic. She mentally connects to plants to control them. So when a plan she's controlling gets hurt, she feels the pain. Ah. Yeah, so for like for those of you who didn't know, I'm not into the DC universe at all. I'm a Marvel guy, like I'm a massive Marvel fanboy. I'm not into DC. So like um, most of these characters I, I've never heard of before. Um, so like, you know, if I'm if I sound like oblivious to some of these, you know, characters and you're like, wait, it's, this is like super obvious. Uh, to me, it's not because I don't know them. <laughs> so just just like a little bit of a uh, um, disclaimer. I'm surprised you didn't have to fight her for that information. Yeah, I mean, well, we did do, like, the, the power move with the plan, but... Okay, wait, can I actually hit this guy? No. Hey, guys, coming up! <laughs> that was Okay, that was kind of cool, though. What the hell is that thing? Okay, you guys wanted to fight? Well, you can get a fight. Dang it. No, don't do it again. Oh, I got an achievement or a trophy. Strike. Thank you for that trophy, Oh, I appreciate it. Dude, why are you? Why can't I counter? What is that? Why can't I jump as well? There we go. Wait, can I not? Ouch. Wait, do I actually have to fight these guys? Can't I just leave? Because I don't think I need to go this way anyway. I can't, I can't I just go and be like, okay, bye. I'm leaving. Bye. <laughs> I'm not going to bleed out my face. I'm going to leave you guys because I don't think I need to go. Yeah, I think I was just about to exit here anyway. So yeah, bye. At least I hope the game is okay with that. Um, oh, wait, wait, can I now go up there as well? Can I use this thing on... Wait, why can't I... Oh, I can't aim it at higher things? Okay. If you're playing on... Uh, you're playing on Xbox? I'm not, I'm playing on PC. I was hoping you were playing on PC, even Linux, because the game crashes upon launch now for me. No, I'm playing on PC, but not on Linux, just on Windows, but... Um, still PC nonetheless. I got the game on Steam. Oh wait, because of the the uh, the trophy thing? No, that's just a, the stream effect that I have. That's just something that you can do if you have channel points. You can give me a trophy for things that I do. But that's not that wasn't an actual trophy in the game. <laughs> if that's what you uh, you thought. Oh wait, I'm back. Wait.
Oh, wait, so this riddle also goes for, like, this section. Okay, so wait, maybe I can find an egg over here somewhere. Uh, but I did hear, I did find, when you're saying, like, the game crashes upon start, I did find uh, a thread on the Steam forums, I want to say, with people who had a similar issue, and they said that you could fix that by doing something... And I'm not entirely sure what that something was, but like there was a um, there was a thread on the Steam forums about that particular issue, uh, and people were were able to fix it with something. Mine is from Steam too, and used to work even on Linux, but right now I get an error, fail to compile a global shader. Yeah, I'm not familiar with Linux myself. Uh, there might be someone in chat that might be, um, but I'm not familiar with Linux. So I can't What's say anything doing? about like you know how you can fix that on Linux, but. Maybe someone in chat could shed some light on that, perhaps. Boom. Ooh. I find the thread Google Drive folder is gone, though. I don't think I did something with, like, like a Google Drive thing. Um, but maybe I just had no issues whatsoever, so I just never had to do anything. That could also be a possibility. Let's see, we got like what five armed guys. Nope. Huh. Fooled ya. Hey, if you come below me, I can, you know, come and string you up. Nope. Too bad. The key solution in the thread has a Google Drive link to offer the solution. Oh, that's annoying when it's like... It, it, well, that makes it sound like some kind of clickbait. Like, if you want to find the solution, go here. And then you go there and it doesn't exist anymore. That's annoying. Sometimes, I mean, I remember that I saw something about, like, some kind of rendering mode or something that kind of crashed the game. Um, where? Where is he? I'm above you. Hi. What are you doing? It's not clickbait, it's just half a decade old. <laughs> but usually when like, you know, like global shader stuff, that kind of sounds like... I don't know, like you might be missing files. I know on other... like, I'm not sure if you can do that so on Steam, but like on other, uh, you know... Um, game clients, I know you can, you know, um, restore a game. Like, you can, you, you can kind of, you know, it can check all the game files for its integrity and then it can restore them. Maybe you can do something like that in Steam as well. So it sounds like maybe you're missing, like, some kind of, like, you might be missing some files. And then maybe by, like, you know, restoring the game, you might, you could get them back, perhaps? I don't know. I'm sorry, I wish I, I, I wish I was able to give you, like, more solid assistance, but, um... Sadly, I can't. But again, if anyone in chat might have any idea on like how that works on Linux, then feel free to help uh, Darth Killer. Hello. Pat? Boom. Haven't you noticed that someone's missing down there? What he hurt his hand. Oh, hello, you kind of sexy statue. How are you? Uh, okay, so we are going... Yeah, we still keep going this way. Speaking of Batman... What of him? I want him dead! I won't let him hurt my baby's dead! I can't believe that poor little Ivy crying in a garden. She looks so sad. Well, I mean, I told her to go back to her cell. She just didn't listen, so like... Wait, there's like a giant space above this. We can't jump over that. I can't just jump over this 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 thing. Oh, crap. Okay, so that doesn't work. 
Oh, wait, can I actually go down? Ah, I can. Okay. Oh, look. My family's killer stood in front of me. My family's killer Years stood in front of me. Have deemed him sane. I was proud to see him walk free. In exchange for his liberty, the state required only a signature. He talked about wanting to walk in a park, how he longed to feel fresh air on his face. And then he took my father's fountain pen and killed my secretary. As he was subdued, he screamed out, pleading for forgiveness, for pity. Pity! But I had none. I watched as guards beat him to a stain on the floor. Yes, I like his voice. It's very... It has a lot of gravitas to it. Perhaps he could speak slightly faster. For me to keep my attention. I made a medieval version of the Batmobile as a design challenge. As a small wooden model. That sounds very cool. Ten points for Gryffindor. Ten points! For Gryffindor. Yes. Harry, come come closer. Let me see your face. <laughs> I just reinstalled the game. Nope. But I do have DLL files listed as not found. So maybe if you launch the game manually via wine and let of, instead of letting steam use proton steam's variant on wine i could make it work it did work on some other games like artemis spaceship bridge simulator imagine if the entire stream would be like this that would be quite annoying wouldn't it <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. I although I do kind of <laughs> I do kind of like it. <laughs> but I'm sure others don't. Um also when I read those messages in those I, I was trying to make fun of people. Um entire stream would you like a cup of tea with perhaps a biscuit? It's funny how easy it is for me to actually transition into that voice. Like sometimes I mean I would love to do voice acting i just don't feel that i'm necessarily like good at changing my voice consistently but somehow this voice comes quite naturally to me so perhaps i could do an old character in a british or distinguished show it's like i like it as a redeem entire stream like that <laughs> <laughs> I mean, obviously, it's easier for me to just go and, and change it like this. Hi, it's, it's Matt Silver. Hi. Um, this is a lot easier for me to, to keep consistent with my voice. But that's not fair because that's just cheating. Um, but this is just me. I can switch to the elderly voice like an angry grandma. I'm not sure if I can do an angry... Wait, wait, let's, let me see if I can actually do a grandma, like a, a female version of this. L let's see, what's like a... What's like a... Howard, why aren't you in... No, it doesn't... No, 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 I, it, it, it's not... It's just not as believable. It has a lot of tricks in its arsenal, like a siege ladder, mounted crossbow turrets, deployable sails for driving without horses when there's high wind... And a lot of internal steering mechanisms, all controlled by pulleys and levers. I think it's also like it's key on like taking your pauses and such. Um, okay, hang on. Um, mm -mm. Mm 
Um, okay, I was quickly sending a message, um, but I am done, or at least almost ready to continue with everything. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Doesn't have to be slow. Angry Grandma isn't making uh, a restra- Oh! Bless you. Did the streamer crash? Let's reset him. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, no, that, that was a sneeze. It was, it was just a sneeze, nothing else. Uh, but thank you for the 69 bitties. I appreciate it. I can't help it, chat. It's just this, this voice. It just triggers something in me, I guess. It just makes me want to, you know, emulate it. Where's that teeth clappering thing? Maybe it's above me. See, we just found a way around it, or at least I guess we are going to find one. Um, yeah, see? So he did like the thing with the leaves and the trunks and the stuff, but you know, we just managed to find a way around it. So like, you know, jokes on you, Joker, which is funny because his name is Joker. Titan must be having a different effect on Ivy. Her plants are growing. They'll soon be out of control. Out of control plans. Finish butler exam because fancy voice. Look at those plans. They are. Looks like the plants oh, are geez. mutating further. What is that? Okay, so now we have to worry about like freakishly large, crazy plants. Awesome. That pod appears to contain similar spores to the ones Ivy used to attack Gotham last year. They're deadly. Oh no. Imagine Batman speaking like this the entire time. Okay. Can I destroy this pod? Oh wait, I can maybe. Boom! Oh jeez, don't just stick your hand in it and like yank out some kind of nasty goo. Okay, so where to next? Two dimension. Two dimension. Yeah, those pods are gonna explode. Like, ain't nobody got time for that. Oh, dude, there's more of these guys. I've. I keep forgetting that they are also running around here. That's the baddest way to do gardening. <laughs> It kind of is. All right. Why are we back in the mansion, by the way? Like, what is our objective here? Collect plant spores from Killer Croc's lair. Talk to Aaron Cash in the Arkham Mansion. Okay. Wait, didn't we kill Killer Croc already? Oh, jeez. Oh, dang. Okay, well, luckily now we have our, you know, our shooting, uh, shooting, shooting thing. Which makes things a lot easier. I think we got this one, didn't we? Yeah, okay. Too bad. Otherwise we could, you know, listen to another old man doing things. Main hall. Are there new enemies here? That's not. Okay, so that's good. We don't have any new enemies. The only thing that we do have to worry about, of course, are these plants. Which are now a lot... Escape? Oh, wait, so we can't... Okay, so we can't go on the floor because of, um... Deadly poison gas. Okay, which way are we gonna go in general? Dude, the game wants me to upgrade something, like, so bad. Do I have some upgrades for my new, uh, like, my new zipline thing? Because I would love to get an upgrade for that. Um, what's this? Combo battering. Okay, you know what? Let's let's take that. So we have all the uh, I think all the uh, fighting things upgraded. So we just have a couple left. 
Uh, we are going there. Not sure how, though, because I feel that... Oh, we don't. Oh, wait. What are these guys doing here? What are these guys doing here? Talk to Kevin. Batman. Batman. Kevin. We're like sitting ducks. We're all gonna die. Yeah, why are you even here? Like, you know, what's what's up with that? Ah, oh, here's our Aaron Cash. Hello. I figured you'd be here about now. I am. What's yes. The deal with the plants. It's complicated. Let me guess. Poison ivy. Yeah. See, that wasn't that complicated, so, wasn't? All that matters is that I can stop the plants taking over the island, but. There's always a butt, isn't there? Yeah, it's behind you. you? Killer Croc. That's what she said. I found a door in the sewers, but it's sealed shut. That monster's got his own special cell. It's right below the transfer room back in intensive treatment. Elevator goes right down to an old sewer. You just drop meat down there every day or so and try to forget about it. It's locked off. More security than the Joker. You won't get in without the warden's permission. He has the codes. Ah, so we're go. Thanks, Cash. Stay here and do not go near the plants. They'll kill you. Wait, so we have to go back to the warden to get the codes? Can't he just, like, use his radio and just contact him? Because that would be so much easier. Also, stay here and don't go near the plants. Um, this entire space is sort of occupied by plants. So, like, nice idea, but I don't know. I'm not sure if it's, like, going to work. Oh, we have the codes? Okay, good. For the lore you may have missed, remember Joker saying TikTok is that fear I smell when Killer Croc was about to show up? Uh, it was a reference to the present bodyguard Aaron Cash, who has a hook in place of a hand because Croc ate the hand. Ah. Interesting. Ooh, just in time. Alright, so we came here for, like, I mean, I feel kind of this was a waste of time, but okay, you know, like whatever. Um, because we only had to come here, talk to this guy. He told us that, you know, who had the codes and that was it. So it kind of felt like he could have just set that in like a text message perhaps, or like a memo or I don't know, maybe they could call each other, but hey, the game wanted us to come here. I guess for some kind of longevity reasons. So, you know, here we are. Okay, so next up, we are going to Intensive Treatment, which is directly above, uh, 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 in front of me. You know, also the reason why I don't like Batman's cape is that it kind of blocks his nice, you know, behind. Abandoned Tunnel. Oh, crap. What the hell was that? Oh, wait, was that uh, one of those pods exploding? Yellow. Zazaz is counting on you finding his work. All right, next up, we are going. Oh, wait, we shouldn't be here. Oh, crap. I think I took a wrong turn or something. Okay, so we shouldn't be here. Croc's in intelligence varies depending on how old he is. He becomes more animalistic as he ages. It's a genetic element that makes him mutate further and further. Nice behind, while you have alternate costumes to unlock. And in Arkham City, one of the uh, costumes is that of Batman Beyond, which has no cape. Ooh! Well, that's going to be the first one that I'm going to unlock, obviously. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chad. I'm a gay man. I can't help it. I'm not sure which game is comes after this, but we're definitely going to... I mean, I'm enjoying these games, so we're definitely going to continue with... Um, with this series as we... Uh, you know, as we progress. So I, I honestly thought that I was getting close to the end of this game, but I'm feeling now that that's clearly not the case. Which is fine. I mean, I'm still having a good time, but I thought that, you know, like the ending was near.
Are these enemies? Are you guys enemies? Yeah, they are. Okay. Ow! You know what? I don't feel like fighting you guys, so bye. Oh, I need to secure the area. Okay. Okay. I'm not okay. Are you okay? Don't let him hit you, idiots! No, don't punch me again! No, don't stomp on my face, dude. That's so uncool to do. Get him on the ground and stomp on his face. Wow, that's just... Wow. Also, how rude is it to have, like, you know, like, how many guys are there against me? Oh, I'd like to thank my fans for their undying support. I'd like to thank my fans for their well, undying support. Very, very soon. And the people of Gotham, who I will be seeing very, very soon, Harry. <laughs> Oh, if, if you guys are sick of me doing the old man voice, just tell me so I can try and dial it down. But I, I mean, I, I can't make any promises, okay? Just saying, like, it's just like, it's it's who I am. I can't help it. Um, hey, Tech, how are you doing? Also, hello, Tech Ipsodon, how are you? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's it's um, it's um, it's like a joke, I guess, an inside joke. Um... It's my favorite costume too, for other reasons. I'm a sucker for Batman Beyond and it's more futuristic setup. I'm kind of curious now. Wait, can we can we have a look at it? I'm kind of curious now what what that suit looks like. Wait, what is it? What was it called again? You said Batman Beyond suit. Oh wow, there's even someone. Oh, look at this guy. He actually did a cosplay of that suit. That is so cool. Look at this, look at this cosplay, that is insane. Like, that is awesome. I, I mean, I love a good cosplay. Like, you know, I can't deny that. And this guy, he made like a pretty cool stellar mask out of it. Um, so yeah. The more goons you take, the better. It's XP and thus talent points. With a bit of training, you can handle hundreds on your own with the Arkham combo system. It's kind of an insane action system. Yeah, I kind of feel that I'm just bash bashing like my main mouse button and then my other one for... Um, for like, you know, the, the counter, but it doesn't always work, I feel. That's Batwing, not Batman Beyond. Oh, but this is the 10 of the best Batman Beyond cosplay ever. Ever! Which one is the Batman Beyond then? This one? Or like, you know, this one? Batman Beyond suit? This isn't like, this is a more like armor type. Like, okay, so like this one, this one I like. Because this is more like, you know, your, your default standard, like, tight superhero costume so you can actually see the behind you know like but this one is more like the armor so you you know it's not necessarily kind of covers the behind with armor on the left second row this one okay well it still looks cool it still looks it still looks cool but you know and you can see the behind oh wait there's actually more suits here as well major redesign batman arkham knight oh look let, let's have a look at these silly conera uh, i'm doing good how are you i'm doing good as well uh, no, you move. Now it's the third row. Oh, wait. Okay, so wait. This one? On the left? Or this one? No, it's not this one. So I'm guessing this one. Third row. One, two, three. Um, but can we see... Oh, wait. All these images are broken. That's a shame. Okay, this one is cool too. I like this one too. So I'm guessing this is like how it looks in the game, perhaps? Oh, wait. No, this looks... This is like TV. That looks cool. It kind of reminds me of um, Spider-Man 2099. I really love that as well. That's such a cool suit as well. Um, Spider-Man 2099 suit. Um, different different universe. Oh, you guys can't see. Different universe, of course, but still, I love this. Uh, I love this suit. It's so cool. Um, I mean, there's. I mean, like like I said before, I'm a more of a Spider-Man fan. Uh, so, like, there's many Spider-Man costumes that I really love. Oh, wait, this is actually a... Uh, oh, this is one of those Hot Toys figurines. Yeah, I would love this one. 
I mean, these Hot Toys figurines are always so cool. Like, look at this. It has like, you know, it, it has like so much detail. I think this is actually made of like an actual fabric as well. Um, and you can pose, like you can pose these toys in like so many cool, um, like poses and such. I don't have any Hot Toys uh, uh, figurines. I do have some Hasbro Legends of Spider-Man, which I also really love. But like, look at the, like, look at the quality of this, this toy. Like, this is a toy or like, you know, an action figure. Um, but look how, look how amazingly detailed that looks. But, you know, that also comes at a price of almost 300 euros. So, you know, <laughs> yeah. But these Hot Toys are always so cool. Like, Hot Toys is definitely like, um, if I would have the money, I would definitely get like more of these Hot Toys or like, yeah, more of these, um, um, like you have these these special suits. I'm not sure exactly what the uh, brand is, but like, yeah, they have so many cool suits. The wings retract into the suit, so when he doesn't need to glide, he has no wing. The suit also has jets on the feet, super strength and electronic gadgetry. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Um, speaking of suits, I mean, this is a perfect way to quickly plug something here. Um, because I have some videos up on my YouTube where I rank all my favorite Spider-Man suits uh, in the Spider-Man PlayStation video game. So um, both the uh, both the original Spider-Man suits as well as the Miles Morales. So this is part one for the Spider-Man suits. And if you are like, hey, I want to see the Miles Morales one. Um, I also have that as a part one. So, you know, I'm just quickly plugging that. So if anyone is interested, there they are. Uh, and then I also have links to like the um, what do you call that? Like the um, like the tier list, tier maker, tier generator thingy. Um, so if you guys are like, hey, I would like to see, I would like to make my own. Well, that's how, where you can do that. So, yeah. Um, OK, sorry about that little uh, that little uh, intermission. We'll continue with the game. Attack, thanks so much for stopping by. Happy to hear that you're doing good. Hopefully you had a nice weekend as well. Wait. Oh, we need to go here. And welcome, welcome. And everyone else as well. Wait, no, where? Wait, where are we supposed to go? Oh, wait, I need to take... Okay, I need to... Uh, we need to actually go this way. Oh, wait, uh, do we? Yeah. Weekend was good, nice and relaxing. I needed it. Nice. Yeah, sometimes you just need that. I had a really busy weekend myself, but only busy with like good things. So I guess that also, you know, makes things better. Like I had a pretty, uh, a very busy Saturday and then I had a busy Sunday with um, my my birthday stream. Like, you know, it was a lot of fun. So like that's, I guess, that that's important. All right, so can I take down a couple of these guys already? Okay, I feel that I need to focus more. Like, they all kind of, you know, gang up on me, and I feel... Punch him again! No, don't punch me again. Like, the ganging up kind of makes it sort of hard for me to... I need to, I need to k k take him out first with the electricity one. Wow, get him on the ground and stomp on his face. That's so rude. Like, you can't do that. That's so mean. But I hated that when you, once these guys are finally on the ground, they get back up again. Here, in your face. I'm not sure if, like, taking them down a second time makes them, you know, stay on the ground. I don't think that's the case. I think you actually have to physically take them down. Oh, crap. Wait, my health is suddenly so low. How is that? No, don't do it again. Come on, my health is almost up. Oh, wow, my nuts were in his face. No, I think he was the last guy. Dang it. Gotta say, I thought you'd last longer. That's what she said. That's what she said. I got to say, I thought you lasted longer. 
Yes, you need to do birthday streams more often, but I can't because then I'll then I'll actually go as old as I sound now. <laughs> uh, can I post you out of the image of the Batman Beyond suit as seen in the alternate costume? Uh, yeah, ask Martin, Martin, can you give permission? Um, if you get permission, then you can post it. Otherwise, you will be timed out by my uh, lovely chatbot. So thank you for asking. Otherwise, your messages would, you know, just be timed out. Harry, I thought you lasted much longer. Hermione was so positive about your stamina. And yet... Here you are. There you go. You got 60 seconds. Clock is ticking. Wait, it doesn't work. Ah, oh, dang it. I was going to make a clock ticking sound, but well, too late. Too late. The moment's gone. Wait, I'm kind of curious now. Wait, I want to see that. Um. Oh, wait, I think I actually did see this. Um. I think I did see this uh, this image just now. Yeah, that looks pretty cool though. That looks really cool. So if I if I get this game, I'm not sure if this is the next game um, or if this is the last game. Um, but I definitely want to get that outfit. Dope suit. I know, right? Fake six pack. I hate it that we constantly have to walk over there. Okay, so I need to take out these goons. Like, why is it so hard to actually take out, like, a group of bad guys? Ouch. I, can, I feel that it shouldn't be as hard as, you know, seemingly it is. But somehow it, 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 it is. Wow, I just thought of something so bad with that thing pulsating and then kind of, you know, that exploding ball coming out. But I'll leave my thoughts to myself. Can I take... Wait, can I maybe sneak up on one of them and then, like, do a silent takedown? No, that doesn't work. Surprise! Wait, do you think I can take them with me outside? Like, we have a little bit more space? Oh. Door opening? Wait, why is this door not actually opening? Wow, what was that? Is he okay? Is he okay? I hope not. Do it again. Tap quick, Batarang. You're gonna hurt yourself. Oh yeah, maybe I should focus on like the quick battering more, like, you know, making them stun stunning them, I guess, while I'm doing that. Dude, don't corner me like this. Yeah, I'm not a massive fan of like the fighting system, because either I'm doing something wrong or like, it's not super like always very responsive. Uh, it, it could be that I'm doing something wrong. That's very possible. But like, when I see that, like, the thing above their head, I do the counter, but it, for some reason it doesn't work. Ouch. It will hurt, yeah. Ah, oh, they're gonna get me again. Okay, what should I do wrong uh, next? Because I don't get it. I salute my fallen enemy. <laughs> yeah, funny. The next uh, is the next game published as well as the next game in the timeline. Yeah, so is Arkham City is the next one. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely one thing that I don't necessarily love about this game. How everyone everything kind of takes place in, like you know, in this asylum. Like I wish that the the levels were a little bit more diverse. It, like if that makes sense. I found a possible solution for my earlier problem. Guys mentioned a tool called Proton Tricks to install. Nice! Well, hopefully that's gonna work. 
Wait, can we not... Okay, wait. Maybe we can find, like, a alternate way of getting to them? That would be nice if we can just, you know, e evade them all together. Because this is, like, one of those things that I, like, dislike in games. And then if this... If I... If there's, like, too many moments where I can't beat these foes, I'm kind of done with it. I'm getting frustrated and like, okay, I'm done. Wait, there we go. But I don't think there's going to be an alternate way for me to uh, get to them. I can get this trophy though, so that's also nice. Quincy Sharps Arkham. I don't know. Loser? Oh, I thought we were actually going to get a proper joke, but, you know, it's not. Um. One second, chat. See, didn't rain, did they wounded and did didn't do. Okay, well, this clearly did not help at all. I don't want to fight these guys because it's so annoying. Because I keep dying. And I don't like dying. Oh wait, can't I? No, I can't take him out like over here, I guess. <laughs> if only I had like some kind of exploding batarang or something, that would make things a lot easier. You want some of this? You want some of that? You okay, buddy? Okay, but at least I can try and evade them, you know, if they get too uh, powerful, I can try and evade them by kind of going up a little bit, maybe. I just don't understand, like, how how many times should I hit them before they stay down on the ground? <laughs> yeah, that's kind of the idea of, you know, trying to e trying to not get hurt in a fight. Don't let them hit you, but... I guess they didn't get the memo. Ooh. You want some of this? I don't. Like I'm. I mean, I, I put most of them on the ground, and then I can't. I can't actually kill them because then once I have to do that, they attack me again. This all hurts. And I'm not sure if like two times on the ground and you're out. If that's like how that works. Okay, wait, he's he the last one? Oh wait, did I almost get it? No, wait, there's three more. I do feel I'm close though. Oh, I'm getting close. I'm getting close. Bam. Nice. Bye bitches. That goon sounded like Bender from Futurama. Oh, I didn't hear that. Wait, I need to go that way. Wait, do, do I? No, I need to go this way still. Yeah, my bad. Now I see it. Now you don't. Batman, every yes. route into intensive treatment is locked, and there's nothing I can do to bypass the security. There was a sniper up on the roof. He got there somehow. I'll find a way. I feel this is like classic video game logic and like classic video game tricks. Like, 
recycling areas on a map and then making them more difficult to traverse because all of a sudden there's like, you know, something there. Which, you know, I mean, I don't necessarily hate, but I also don't necessarily like. This is, I mean, that is exactly why I hate Halo 1. As, as much as I love the Halo franchise, I can't play Halo 1 because of exactly that. Like, um, the fact that you have to go to, you know, certain parts of the game several times and then you have to go back and it's, it's, it's just so much. It's just too much. I can't. I can't. Speaking of Halo, though, are you guys excited for Halo uh, Infinite? Because I know I am. Which I think is releasing, uh, I want to say, December? Sometime in December? Alright, can we take him down from, like, the side? Oh, wait, no, I don't think we can get on here because of those spikes. Yeah, I think we need to get on, like, the roof and then get behind him, but, like, how? December 8th? Oh, December 8th? I thought it was, like, December 7th. Wait, maybe it's December 17th, this um, new Spider-Man movie. Multiple things I'm, I'm kind of excited for. Okay, how am I gonna get on the roof over there? But yeah, I'm like I'm super excited for the new uh new Halo. Boom! Could be cool if I can take him out like this, but I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> Maybe if I do it often enough, I can take him out. Oh, wait, I think I know how I can get there. I think I have an idea. Okay, wait, I'm gonna try and see if I can take him out like this. Like, I feel if I do this more, you know, enough time, I feel that it should totally work. Oh, wait, 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 maybe... Can I hit that? No. Crap. Okay, I don't think it's gonna work. Uh, I do have another plan though, so that's all good. I got an alternate plan. Well, what I hate in video game logic on the Arkham series is that Batman leaves the defeated enemies without securing them for police. Only one villain takes advantage of that. It is in Arkham Origins and he's not important. Well, I mean, one thing that I hate in general, even though, you know, someone has, like someone before has explained that in terms of, like, lore, but one thing that I hate is that, um, we often have to fight, like, you know, bad guys with... Ooh, dude, you missed me so bad. Oftentimes, we have to fight, like, enemies with guns, and, you know, he doesn't take a gun. And, and you know, like I said, someone has explained why that is. But at the same time, I'm like, dude, it would make things so much easier if he would just, you know, use a gun. You can disable your weapon with your sequencer. Oh, wait, that works. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, crap. I should have done that because I'm fairly certain that might be an achievement. I feel it's like some, like, it feels like an achievement worthy thing. Um, all right. Uh, I'm going to take a very quick break again because uh, I need to take a bio break. So let's do that. And then after that, we're going to continue with the last part of the game. Or at least the last part of, you know, today's stream. So, um, yeah, I'm going to give you guys some music to enjoy. And then I'll be back in a few short minutes. Maybe you guys also get something to drink for yourself or take a bio break or um, anything like that. And then I'll talk to you when I return for my break uh, for the last part of this stream. Thanks so much again for being here. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in a few minutes.
Let's do the last part of this stream. Hopefully everyone is still doing okay, having a good time, vibing and chilling. Um, All right, let's do it. Let's see uh, how much difficult, how much more difficult this the next part is going to be. Also, Don, seeing as I feel that you played this game before, do you happen to know whether or not we are close to the end? Um, not that it really matters, I'm just curious. Oh, shit, jeez. Um, especially because it... seismic activity all over Arkham Island. You okay? I'm good, yeah. Plants are taking hold. I've got to stop them before the entire island is under her control. Um, especially seeing as, you know, like, if we are getting close to the end, then I need to prepare and install the next game already. I mean, I can do that anyway, but, like... If I don't have to, then I can just, um, you know. Mm -hmm. I can just do it like some other time. Only one chapter after this one. Yeah, I was feeling earlier that we were getting close and then I was like, hmm, yeah, maybe not. Because, you know, we kind of, he kind of introduced like some kind of new elements and like this new uh, enemy that we are dealing with. Also, I hope that the game doesn't feature, like, a very hard to uh, defeat final boss, because... Oh, jeez, I've struggled with some of the bosses before. Um, so, yeah. I mean, I, I mostly like to play these games for... Well, this game in particular, not necessarily for story, I guess, as much. Um... But like, I guess I mostly like to play these games for the, um, 
for like you know the action and 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 well the overall experience but i don't necessarily care too much for like very hard to defeat bosses wait there's an enemy here because it usually doesn't isn't as quiet when there is no enemies hmm Hello? Oh, okay, so we have several enemies there. Are they ready? Have you planted the explosives yet? Good! Razor's just finishing his off now. Good. Let's test him out. No! No, I'm still up! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so they're blowing up. up security here again. Joker wants oh, we've been, I've been here before. Sealed off the door. In or out. There are some games where the fighting and all the good stuff just feels nice. That was me in Far Cry 3 liberating the camps. <laughs> oh crap! Okay, wait. Oh wait, they're gonna blow with them all up? Oh no, don't do that! Wait, how am I gonna get to fight these guys then? Wait, they didn't see me. Oh wait, here we go. Okay, wait. I, I, okay, we need to, we need another plan. This is clearly not the way to do this. Ah, that sucks. But yeah, indeed. Like sometimes it's just like sort of nice fighting characters, I guess. Um, but like then when they are too difficult, then I'm like, yeah, I don't. I, I'm not necessarily doing it for. Like, you know, the challenge. If that makes sense. Why are we beefing up security here again? Joker wants this building kept free of the bat. Wait, can I disable those bombs with my uh thing maybe? No way he's stupid enough to come back here. If he does, first need to open it. You sure about that? Yeah. What do you think is gonna happen? I just hope he stays away, that's all. I don't want any more trouble. Joker's nearly done. And then we can all get the hell off Freak Island. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, but how am I gonna wait, how am I gonna do this if I can't fly away? Wait, how am I gonna do this if I can't fly away? Oh, that's so... Oh, that really sucks because I always use those hiding points and try to attack him from above, but now I can't. Oh, that really sucks. Because now I have to actually be sneaky sneaky down here. That took way too long. How many enemies are there actually? One, two, three, four, four still? Did they did they hear the boss? That also works. Okay, okay, maybe I can do it if I'm being sneaky sneaky. Batman, can you hear me? I can. Wait up, I'll watch your back. Batman, can you hear me? Show yourself. Oh yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Of course, I'll show myself. Hi, how are you guys doing? Have you looked up in the control room? No. Well maybe you should. I mean you don't have to. Bats are sleeping. Someone finish him off. 
Oh, you can't do that yourself? Wow. Um. Mm-mm-mm. Finally managed to make it work. Nice! Happy to hear that. I honestly am. I honestly am happy to, to hear that you made it work. Okay, well, seeing as we now sort of know how we're going to do this, um, let's try and don't, you know, lose as much health as we did. Like in, you know, like in the first place. Batman, can you hear me? No. Yeah, like just saying, just blatantly saying no. Wait, should I hear you? Batman, can you hear me? Uh, Kayla, hello, how are you doing? How are you doing, uh, Bats? Mr. J doesn't want you follow you're following us just yet. <laughs> yeah, he clearly doesn't. Oh, dude! Oh, actually... Oh, no, I think we're good. Okay. I'm gonna try and be super sneaky sneak. Want to go west and check out the walkway. I'm mm. gonna keep going. Go west. You heard the boss. Okay, wait, wait, no, 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 no. Okay, you know what? Kill me. Dang it. Hey. Someone See, these are the kind of things that I don't like. I'm like, I just want to play, like, games. I just want to have a good time. I don't necessarily care about, like, the combat getting more difficult and, like, you know, tricky. I just want to enjoy the game. I don't, honestly, don't really care about, you know, it being a, a massive challenge. Does that make sense? Like, I, I don't know. I just want to enjoy the game without it necessarily being, like, a really difficult challenge. Next, we need to make Arkham City understand the language change because it works, but it's sticking to French despite me telling Steam to switch for English. Me and my problems. <laughs> mais je parlais pas un petit peu de français, mais oui, je comprendre tu le changer le, le langue de anglais or something like that. <laughs> Slide to the roofs in the middle. Oh wait, that works. Okay, wait. Oh, you mean these? Oh, that's clever. Ah, oh, nice. Okay, good. They can't get up here, of course, and then I can try and take them down, like, one by one. That's a good call. I like that. I'm actually French. I want to switch for English for the possibility of streaming in the future. Oh, you are French? Wow, so you, so you actually understood my terrible, you know, my terrible attempt at trying to, you know, speak French a little bit. Um, which I know was was terrible. Like you know, I, I'm I'm fully aware of that. I'll cover over here. Okay, okay, wait, wait, don't go down, don't go down, don't go down. No crap! Stop! Abort! 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 No! What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Did I tell you to do that? I don't think I did. You were not so bad for someone who doesn't speak. Oh, thank you. I feel, I feel like, you know, like Dutch is my main, like my first language, obviously, since I was, you know, born with it. Um, then English is like my second language, uh, which I sometimes feel that I'm better at speaking than Dutch. Um, but then I think German is my third, but like not good. Like I can speak a little bit of German, but like, you know. I think only good enough to uh, kind of make myself known and, and if I go to Germany I can say something like hey I want to order this or anything like that. And then French is like you know my, my fourth, my least good language I guess. But at least I can you know like I can go to France I guess and I can you know order something or say something to someone. Even though they probably know that it, it's like, you know, they can clearly tell that I'm not natively French, but at least I won't be stuck, I guess. Which is kind of good and helpful. Wait up, I'll watch your back. I wish I spoke it better, though. Like, in high school, I had French classes and I was pretty good at speaking French, actually. But I, you know, seeing as I never used it anymore, I kind of lost it. 
um, which I really hate because I, I love being able to speak multiple languages. If it wasn't for vocabulary, I would be better at English than French just because of how much more I use English. Yeah, yeah, kind of. Yeah, same. And, you know, like, in all honesty, Dutch is a pretty difficult language. Like, I know a lot of foreign speakers struggle with it. And I totally understand because it's it's honestly is pretty. It's it's seriously a pretty difficult language at times. Go, no, 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 go up, go up, go up. Dude, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Stop shooting me. Okay, go up. Oh, oh, I'd like to thank my fans Dang for it. their undying support and the people of Gotham who I... I wanted to learn German at school and they wouldn't let me because they said it might be too difficult so I had to learn French and Spanish which I've completely forgotten. At school English was my primary foreign language but I, uh, I was looked bizarrely because I took pronunciation seriously. Everyone else talks Franglish. Oh wait, so people... Uh, Okay, you know, I'm, I was going to try and, and do that, but I don't want to, you know, like be rude to French people and sound like very stereotypical. So I'm not I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to try. <laughs> I mean, you know, like for the mo like, you know, a lot of Dutch people that speak English, they speak like Dunglish, which is like a similar thing, like, you know, Dutch English. Um, and it sounds a little bit like this. Uh, people don't really uh, know uh, how to uh, pronunciate things. So then they they talk like this, which I think, you know, English people can understand, but it doesn't sound very nice. Um, and also what they like to do is um, they very much like to, us Dutch people very much like to use Dutch words in between, yes? Wait, how was I how was I getting to this center thing? Oh yeah, I went through here and then I went to I glided. Boom. Okay, good. Is that uh, stain cola English? Exactly. Yes. I taught myself a little Japanese, so jokes on my school teachers. That is so cool. Uh, I would love to speak Japanese. That is definitely a language that I wish I spoke, but sadly I do not. And bang! Gotcha! Got him! Or should I say Gotham? Okay, hang on, hang on. No way! The bat's coming here. No way! No way. Um. Wait, I, wait, I feel I missed some messages. You guys are quick. Also, Star Sash, hello, hello! Thank you for the lurk, I appreciate it. Um, do the stereotype, I'll tell you if it's close enough to what I observed. <laughs> Well, I think uh, the French people like to speak uh, English like this. They don't like to pronunciate very good and they like to have lots of air when they speak. Also, they don't say the T in the words like the or the. They say more like with a Z. Is that a little bit how you would say this, yes. <laughs> Again, I'm not trying to make fun of French people. It's, it's just disclaimer, full disclaimer. <laughs> um, oh, I'm so bad. There's a difference between having a foreign, a foreign accent and claiming that their pronunciation is the right one. Ever heard of example of the word software works? Sorry, works? <laughs> Close, but not stereotypical enough. Not even... Wow, it was even oh, more... Like, French people like to do even more. <laughs> well, yes, like I said, Dutch people also uh, can can make a big uh, problem uh, problem of, of, of that. They don't like to... Uh, they don't have a great pronunciation as well. Okay, jump. And fly away. Could be worse, like a policeman in Alo Alo. I've never seen that. Can you believe that? I've never actually seen that. I think I know what it's like, but I, I've never actually properly seen that. Anyone got a plan? Anyone got a plan? Well, my plan is to take you guys down. 
Um, so, like, I mean, if you could help me with that, that would be awesome. I, I, I realize that, you know, probably you guys are like, yeah, no, we're good. But if you wouldn't mind and you're like, hey, yeah, please take us down and then I'll gladly uh, assist you guys with that. I will ruin everything, including your face. Okay, this guy, why does he have to stand watch there? Why can't they just kind of, you know, spread out a little bit further? Why can't I take him down as well with a glide? Huh? Sure it came from over there. Wait up, I'll watch your back. Also, the fact that they can't see me is kind of crazy. Alright, so that guy is kind of alone. I don't understand why I can't do like a gliding, like a bat glide thing and take him down. Maybe when he gets a little bit closer? A little bit closer? Do I need to stand here? There we go. Don't fall down! Dang, he still did! Can I do it still? Come on. I gave you everything. Lands, bombs, freedom. And this is how you repay me. You deserve whatever he does to you. Wow, someone is uh holds a grudge. You deserve whatever he does to you. Taking one of you out. And not in a nice first date kind of way. You heard Joker! I still think it's weird that Joker can tell that I took one of them out, but he doesn't really seem to care to kind of, you know, in the inform them like, he's over there, he's over there, do this. You know, he just tells them like, hey, he took one of you out. And that's it. Wake up, do you hear me? Wake up. <laughs> what are we gonna do? I don't know. Keep Panic and, and run away. Can you hear me? Show yourself. Uh, focus on silent takedowns as much as possible. They're more effective for safety. Yeah, that's what I'm trying. But I feel that this glide kick is also pretty silent, I guess. In a way. Hey, fellas. Do you know that if left long enough, those plants mutate and give off poisonous spores that would prolong... I don't like where he is. Joker monitors the heartbeats. That's why he has no video feed. Oh, yeah, that is... Oh, yeah, that's probably what it is. Uh, Zephyr, hey, hello, how are you? Where the hell are you? I'm in a hotel. Nice. Yeah, I saw you were going on like a holiday or on a vacation. I hope you're having a good time. How's Batman? It's so good. I think uh, we're we're clo we're nearing um, well, not necessarily the end, maybe, but we are getting close towards the end of the game, which is cool. Um, but yeah, I'm having a good time. Hopefully, your time off is also off to a good start. Oh yeah, so in, yeah, like you said, he's probably indeed monitoring the heart heartbeats, uh, like the collars they wear. That's probably what it is. Man down, man down. Number of bosses left three. Oh wait, in the entire game? Oh crap! That's actually more than I hoped. I thought maybe just one. Um. Ah, uh, why can't I drop on his face? That would be so nice if I could just drop on his head. Oh, easy. Uh, no point trying to get out before the bat finds you. You'll just get beat by a plant or beat to a pulp by a lunatic. You're much safer in there. Don't, don't fight it. Don't fight it. It'll be good. All right, good. Last guy. And I still have almost full health, which is nice. So I just need to get behind this guy and then we can take him out. Wait, did he see me or did he just start shooting? Only counting the main story, not the side missions. Why are you doing this to me? Because it's fun, dude. Nice into your countryside. Nice. That sounds actually really good. 
only three can complete it today. Well, if you saw like how good, quote unquote, I was at fighting those bosses, then, you know, you might want to rethink that statement. <laughs> hey, but we did it though. So, you know, that's a good thing. And now Joker doesn't have any anything sassy to say anymore. All right, let's uh, let's see if we can de you know turn this off. I don't know what it does, but let's just turn it off. One. No. Oh. Two. Three. Have you got all this game's DLC too? Um, I don't actually know if I do. I think so because yeah, I think so because this is the game of the year edition and usually game of the year editions give you like all the DLC and such. So I'm guessing I do. Um But I guess it depends on like how I feel after finishing the main game whether or not I will actually continue with the DLC as well. I'm not entirely sure if I want to, you know, if it's like separate something then I might just move on to the next game. Um But we'll see. We'll see. The sequencer in Arkham Asylum is the hardest to handle. It gets simpler and late as a game. Yeah, I mean, I don't find it the worst. It's just not like the most intuitive. Like, I feel it's not necessarily the most intuitive, perhaps. Little tip for the streamer. Oh, oh I appreciate that. Thank you so much, Zephyr, for your 10 biddies. Thank you, thank you. Oh, wait, I need to go that way. We need to go that way. Oh, wait, we just opened these doors. Nice. Noise, noise, noise. Hook up with relatives before you are transferred out of here. Hmm, what do you think that means? Oh, wait, wait. Tip without a tip. I expected a tip, but it was only a tip. <laughs> hey, some people just like, you know, like just a tip. That's what she said. Wait, there's nothing here? Wait, why was this space sort of locked off when there's like nothing here? Oh, wait, 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 hang on. There was something here. Did anyone catch the game last night? <laughs> oh! Wait, 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 Oh, jeez, I thought that was... <laughs> I was like, wait, what the hell is happening? What is this? Uh, but I guess that was supposed to happen. <laughs> I think. That was so weird. Like I was, I was certain that the game sort of crashed, but I was like, wait, that's a weird way to crash. You were right, Mr. J. Wait. Plastic Marta case with delusions of grandeur. The first time I played it, I restarted my game. It was four bosses, not three, and you're now dealing in two in a row. Wait, what? What? Uh, 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 uh? Uh, okay, this is weird. Someone help me! And now all of a sudden he sounds different. He doesn't sound like this anymore. Hey, help me. Someone me, help me. You can let us go. Keep those mouths shut. Batman! Batman, can you hear me? Batman, can you hear me? Batman, can you hear me? Help us, please! 
Help us, please. Just got to check your prisoner, dear. Whatever. So this is the intro of the game again, but like. No, he's not. We really should feel sorry for him. He never fully got over his parents' death. It left him quite insane. What is going on inside your head, Wayne? Inside that your head. Just a twisted shell of a man. No, yeah, it's funny. I honestly was was ready to kind of do escape and like I don't know, like do stuff. He's um, all yours, Joker. I'm not sure if the if me pressing escape oh, goody, made it, you ready. know, kind of stop the the like the broken I game sequence thingy, but. Let's start the party with a bang. <laughs> Oh, jeez, I was supposed to dodge the gunfire. Well, that, that was not clear at all. I did not get that. Um, yeah. A uh, boy has it. Hello, hello, how are you? Okay, well, let's try that again. Hopefully you can skip the entire talking sequence. I didn't really care for that. Oh, wait. Oh, look at me, I'm zombie Batman or something like that, I guess, maybe, I don't know. Tilt the mouse to dodge it, don't worry, you couldn't, the game is jesting with you. Oh. Hello. Oh, wait, is this another one of those uh, scarecrow sequences? Hello. Oh, look, this guy doesn't have a cape, we can actually, you know, check out the goods. He's even hunched over just for us. Wow, he's eating like a mouse. That is... Uh... Okay, wait. I think we need to use uh, this thing. What are you trying to do? I don't know. What am I trying to do? That as though. Oh, whoa. Well. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm glad I could catch your stream. Nice. Yeah, bro, come on in. So that's why he wears the cape, so we can hide his, uh, his, his cake for everyone else. Wait, are you going to move or... Oh, wait, he, he is. Okay, wait. I mean, I'm sorry. You can't, you can't have, like, you know, the goods like that and then hide them with the cake. The last Scarecrow sequence and the first of those two bosses in a row. Hey, dude. Why can't I counter these? What's up with that? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at me go. See? That's what I... That's more like it. But let's not get in the lights. Okay. Moving on. Is the underwear outside? It helps. Yeah, that's also a thing. What is up with DC heroes and having like, like you know, like a speedo on, out, you know, like over, over the top of their, like their tights or their, their super suit. Like you know, Batman does that. Um, uh, Superman does that. I feel like there's other, like, does Green Lantern do it as well? <laughs> Crap. Like, what is up with that? <laughs> like, I'm not trying to, you know, hate on their style. Like, if, they, if that's, like, their their sense of fashion, then, you know, hey, good for them. I mean, I, I might wear some, some outfits sometimes as well that people are like, why, why the hell are you wearing that? That's so weird. But, yeah, I, I just don't get it. When he outlined his vision of a hospital dedicated to ensuring inmates remain loopy for as long as possible. That's a great question. Green Goblin, Hop Goblin, Electro. Okay, okay, you got me. But those are villains. <laughs> those are villains. So maybe they didn't go to like superhero style school. Crap. I have to say, I kind of, I, I kind of think even though Scarecrow is kind of scary, he's also kind of sort of, you know, he's got some, I don't know, he's got like a quality that makes him sort of sexy. I don't know what it is. 
Is that weird? It's not Stockholm Syndrome, by the way. It's just, I don't know, it's, it's something else. When he outlined his vision of a hospital dedicated to ensuring inmates remain loopy for as long as possible. Defender or statesman? Oh, I don't know them. Is your mind playing tricks on you, or am I? I don't know, I think both. The heroes, and they're neither DC nor Marvel. Scarecrow Gimp Mask vibes? Yeah, maybe that's it. I don't know. He has, like, he's got, like, some kind of sexy quality to him. I'm not sure if I'm the only one. Maybe I am. Wait, where am I? Patient's ward is manned by Waylon Jones. I'm assured that he's cured almost every patient. Oh, wait, we need to get stay behind this thing, I guess. Well, that's kind of cool. I like that. I have to say, I really liked these um, these sequences. I, I kind of enjoyed them. These scarecrow, uh, you know, like try and stay behind objects to not get hit by the light. I kind of like them. Not sure why. Oh, jeez. Okay, did not expect that. It's not funny, dude. Climb, dude. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. Dare to step into my gaze. I'd rather not. Oh. I think you need a little more. No, I don't. Tell me what demons do you have left to beat? Show me see. Okay, so I thought I, I had him, but clearly I do not. Oh, wow. I don't like this last one much. I'm not actually. Boom! Maybe it's the skinny twink vibe mixed with the Gimp or Dom Mew vibe? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. You're fighting back. Oh, it can only weaken your oh, wait, is this one of the bosses? Okay, I'm not sure if I'm actually hurting him already. He doesn't have a, uh, a, a health bar. Oh wait, oh wait, he actually does that as well. Okay, then I know how we can deal with him. I mean, that has been like you know most bosses. That's been kind of the staple of how to beat them. take out his goonies first before trying to ouch oh that's actually nice that i can just throw like the quick batarang uh, thing bye The Titan skeleton, you don't like that? Oh wow, he's illuminating his, um, his, um, you know, his, uh, 
You yeah. ingested enough toxins to drive dead men insane. What are you? I'm Batman. Lights, what lights, action, Batman? exactly. You're as crazy oh, achievements. as the rest of us. You need us as much as we need you. And to prove it, I'll flood the catacombs with enough fear gas to break the minds of everyone in Gotham for a hundred years. A hundred years? Okay, so where do we go next? I'll actually go back. Okay, wait. What upgrade do I still want? Batarang power. Twin Batarang. Not available. Why is so many things not available when I feel that I'm closing in on like the end of the game? Um, maybe I want this one. Easier cryptographic uh, thingy. I guess that sounds good. Okay, so we have to go back. What time is it? Oh, it's it's 12.30. Wait, what's down? Oh, wait, is that where we came in? No. No. Notice the body of the guys we beat up in the real world? I did, actually, yes. Um, I, I was actually about to say, like, it, it, is this, like... That I didn't actually kill anyone, <laughs> like, you know, like for real, but like in, in my dream sequence thingy, um, that those things that I fought were actually like actually there. Okay, so how are we going to get inside? Is the end of the game, like, super near? Um, because if it is... Um... If it is, then I might want to try and continue and finish it today. If it's not, then I might want to end it here and finish it next time. Um... But it kind of depends on, like, how close we, like, actually are to the, the end. Um... Like, if it's- if I have to go down and do, like, two things and then that's the end, then I'll do that. But if there's, like, still quite a bit ahead of me, then I might want to, uh, wrap it up over there. If anyone knows, otherwise I'm gonna do a quick Google search. Um. Next boss is super near, then you run to the next two bosses. Okay, so it's- it, we are basically- well, like, we're almost done with the game, that's what you're saying. Okay, let me, um... I can spoil if you want me to. Well, I mean, like, if you, if, if you, if, like, if you, what you say is, like, well, you are pretty close to the end, like, you're, you're fighting one boss and then the next one, like, like the next two are near and then that's it, then, you know, we can do that. Um. Mm -mm -mm. One second, I'm, I'm letting Peter know that I'm, uh, I'm keep, I'll keep streaming for a little bit. Um. Uh, okay, so Peter just got home, um, and he wants if I can quickly come and give him a hug. So I'm gonna take, uh, like, a one-second break, and I might as well quickly also get something new to drink, because, you know, if we're gonna do this, then, um, you know, I want, I want to have something to drink. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna give Peter a hug, um, and then I'm gonna be back in, like, literally, like, two or three minutes. So I'm gonna take, give a quick break, and then I guess then we're gonna try and see if we can end this game. Um, so I'll be right back, chat.
told you it was going to be quick. Um, yeah, Peter just came home. He was uh, he was playing board games with uh, with friends, so he was like, hey. he wasn't feeling too good today, like you know mentally. So um, yeah, he was just having an off day, so that's why he wanted to get a hug. Um, so I figured, you know, it's, that's you know a perfect time for me to get a uh, get something new to drink and give him a hug, because that's what you do when you are you know a good husband. You you give your your loved one a hug. All right, so uh, I'm guessing we're gonna go down here. At least I think that's the plan. Oh, wow, look at him. Wee! Oh, wait, was I supposed to go here? Oh, wait, I, I think I'm too far down. Aren't I? I am here, yes! You saw that right. Oh, wait, now this guy is gonna... No, 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 you're not gonna take up and pick up the gun of the guy that I just defeated. That's not fair. I can't, I don't do that either, so then you guys also can't. Okay. Oh, I actually had to be here because I need to use the sequencer thing on this. Alright, so I think it, you know, I, the game just told me that I, I got an upgrade that would make things easier, so I feel this should make it easier, I hope. Oh, that was actually surprisingly easier. Okay, that was actually surprisingly easy, not gonna lie. Alright. Uh, wait. This way. It was surprisingly warm today, chat. Like, I, I, I got this tank top, like, not too long ago, actually. And then I was kind of bummed that I wasn't actually able to wear it, like, very often. Because of, you know, like, the I got it and then temperatures went up a little bit again, or went down a little bit again. So I was like, wait, I literally just got this tank top and now it wasn't, I couldn't even wear it. Um, what do you mean? But then this week, you know, temperatures are kind of up again. So that's nice. It is the bat. Yeah, hi. Oh wait, what's with that alarm? Oh crap, wait, oh wait, wait. No, 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 no. You're not gonna get those guns, okay? Oh wait, there's more of them? Oh crap. Why don't you shift and take down? I always do that and it never works. And you hit like a guy that's on the ground. Oh, don't punch me again. Okay, take him out. No, you didn't take him out. Why didn't you do that? Boom. Bye-bye. Okay. Uh, next up. We are going... Oh, we're still staying here. Oh wait, I think I need to take this elevator, maybe. Do I? No. I mean, my objective is... is here, though. Or should I just move to... Okay, yeah, probably. What is it? Wait. Is my objective this way? Pro tip for fighting. Don't use this type of takedown unless it's the last enemy. Instead rely on flying from enemy to enemy with combos above three, never hitting the same enemy twice in a row, and use combo breakdowns. All right. Okay. Thanks for that tip. Thank you for the 100 biddies as well. That's so kind. I appreciate it.
Uh, and I'm, I'm gonna try and keep that in mind. Wait, is this where I need to go, though? It's kind of unclear if this is... Wait. Let's go back. I don't feel that it is. No, because my objective is still here. Oh wait, hang on, there's something here. Pick up secret map. My map will help you, Batman. Okay, thank you, Riddler. I appreciate it. Keep going down, but I can't keep going down though. Why am I missing something? How how should I go down? Or do I need to go through that door? Because that's kind of like my, my thing is here. I need to unlock the path. But not with these, I guess. Okay, wait, let's go back up one level. Maybe I missed something here. Ah, okay, wait, wait. No, that's not it. And you split up, split up the enemies. If you spread them out over larger areas, you have more time and you can use the takedowns. It is a door. Okay, so I, I actually do need to go through here. Ooh, a tape. Oh wait, this is Croc's layer. Okay, here we go. Something's gonna happen. Obviously, he's gonna assume that it's gonna be easy. He just can, you know, walk up to these plants, take a sample, and Batman. one step closer, and this goes into the water. Wait, what is? What the is it? The cave will fill with your deepest, darkest nightmares, and you will never reach your precious venom roots. <laughs> Don't do it, Crane. <laughs> oh. Uh, one second. Um. Uh, Peter just texted that our that our doggo uh, just just vomited or threw up, um, and he did so earlier as well. But he ate something weird um, when we were walking this morning, so he kind of threw that up. Uh, but now he did so again, so he just let us know. Let, he just you know texted me that. And the crazy thing is, Scarecrow survives this, and he's back in Arkham Knight. Okay, so I'm assuming we're just gonna keep going this way. Oh wait, Croc's Lair. Okay, yeah, so we keep going this way. Through the sewers. Which is kind of big though. I mean, this looks like a river rather than like sewers. I thought you were having a moment in silence for Scarecrow. <laughs> and now I would like to ask for a moment of silence for our fallen enemy. Wait, how can I... Oh, hang on. Wee. Wee. Oh boy. It's Gotham City. It's a pretty uh, massive city, much like New York. Oracle, I'm heading into Croc's lair to collect the plant spores Ivy spoke about. He's in some kind of old sewer network. Send me the schematics. It's like a maze down here. There's nothing on record. Bruce, are you sure about this? Sounds like a suicide mission. I've got no choice. I've tuned the scanner to detect the spores required to make the antivenom. It'll lead me straight to them. What about Croc? 
Croc's just an animal. Wait, what's he doing? And animals just need traps and the right bait. I'll be fine. I'll contact you when I'm done. Wait, I need to blow that up or like what? Oh wait, it's a maze, so he's gonna like leave traces behind. These floating platforms will support me. But we'll also send sound waves through the water, giving away my position to Croc. I'll need to move as slowly as possible. Oh great, and I'm playing this on PC, so like moving slowly is not gonna work. Oh wait, but I can see the sound waves on the left, so if I can just keep going like this, then we should be fine. I guess. What was that? He's the bait. The big jealous the move uh, is the moving slowly means just walking, not running. Wait, we have to climb. Be quiet! Also, just wondering, why did anyone think it would be a good idea to leave these, you know, wooden platforms over here? Instead of actually making, like, a walkway here, made out of stone or whatever? Like, I mean, someone had the time to make move all these wooden planks here. Couldn't they just, you know, build, like, a bridge or, like, something that would be a little bit more, I don't know, sustainable? Could be me. I mean, maybe, you know, like, who am I, right? But... You can and should stand up, just don't run. Wait, why should I stand up though? Oh yeah, okay, that's, so that does work. I mean, I thought, you know, crouching would just be good for like his, his upper leg muscles, you know, like giving him- Oh, Jesus Christ, giving them a little bit of a workout. Um, okay, 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 I feel we can run now, I think that's not bad. I'm not sure what I do against this guy. Uh, okay, I guess we just keep going back. Oh, he's still behind me. He's still behind me. Okay. Wait, was that... Did I make a mistake? Did I make a mistake? Is he gonna come follow me, like, all the time? Maybe they can't get into constructed proper bridge because of the killer croc. I mean, I, yeah, okay, true, but then if they could, you know, leave these planks here... Well, okay, sure, that's quicker, but still. You want a clue? Remember the cinematic with Scarecrow? You can't... You can make croc fall by throwing a battering at his neck. Oh, I can? Oh, wait, that's... Okay. Ah, okay. Was that actually the crocodile guy? I didn't realize that. If I'm being super honest. Listen, buddy, I ain't got time for you, okay? I'm working on finding some spores, and, you know, you are not in that plan, so, you know. Okay, are we gonna go straight, or are we gonna go left? Straight at this. Oh, dude, it is a maze down here. Crap, okay. Wait, nine? Oh, wait, now we're further away. Wait, so I think they're over there. Um. Oh, wait, are they here? Again, I don't have time for you now, okay? So can you, like, I don't know, maybe not? Got him. He's trying to eat you based on scent. Wait, I'm smelly? I mean, it, it, to be fair, I've been wearing this, These like... These don't contain enough of the anti-venom mold. I'm of course not. That would be that would be easy if, if this was all it takes. Um, to, Like, to be fair, I have been wearing this, you know, like, skin tight... What is it? Like, rubber spandex suit throughout the entire game so it must be smelly so if he's coming after me based on scent um that you know I, I i get that because batman must be smelly i 
I mean, being in a stinky sewer obviously doesn't help. Um, but, you know, the fact that we haven't gotten a shower and we haven't changed our suit, which, again, is skin tight and, who knows, made of some kind of sweaty material, uh, you know, that's not helping our case. Oh, jeez, that was close. You did say earlier I've got your sense, ba Batman. Yeah, because I'm smelly. I'm Stimkey. Oh wait, I think there's another one over there. I think I see it. <laughs> I don't know, I feel it's slightly too easy. I don't know if that if, if that's just me, but I feel it's slightly too easy that... Oh wait, I've done this one. Crap, I've done that one. I feel like just running because I can just easily take out this guy anyway. Where is he? Where is he? And there he is. Hello! <laughs> Jingle bells, Batman smells, Robin laid an egg. <laughs> That's funny. What are these things hanging here? Is that like his food? Like the crocodile's food? Oh wait, I am getting closer, but that says specifically do not enter. Although we are obviously going to abandon, you know, like ignore that warning. He's going to vary his patterns. I hope we don't have to walk all this way back again. That would be annoying. Also, I love how he's just poking in, like, the, the goo. Like, you know, the slimy substance, he's just, like, poking in it. <laughs> you have to admit, though, it's kind of a badass move to just kind of, you know, throw your bat boomerang thingy and just keep walking as that guy comes storming at, uh, at you. <laughs> it's kind of a killer badass move, not gonna lie. Oh, it's so funny. Oh boy. Something's gonna happen. You are my oh, nice. Okay. Great. How are we gonna go back? I mean, I have an idea, but, you know. Uh, one second, chat. Um... Peter just called the vet for our dog, so I'm, I'm quickly responding to that. Um... All right. So, so far, everything sounds okay with the dog, but, you know, we need to keep an eye out on things because he's, uh... Well, we don't know what, what it is, but, like, this morning I was walking him and he ate something that he wasn't supposed to, but I couldn't, uh... Oh, crap. I couldn't take it out of his, uh, mouth in time. And then he, then he threw it up. Whatever he ate, like, it, there was some, like, some plants or something, I guess. But whatever he ate, he threw it up earlier this afternoon, but now apparently he threw up again. Um, so Peter called the vet and they said that, you know, as long as he... As long as he wasn't dehydrated, then, you know, things should be okay. Oh, hold to run? Oh, crap. Oh no, wait, we took a wrong turn. Ah, oh, there it is, all the way in the distance. I see it. I see it. I see the last. Well, I hope it's the last. It's 
ports are conveniently lo located at the buff the wooden planks, right? Yeah, I mean, that's very nice. Like, he could have not, you know, do that, but I'm, I'm happy that he did. Like, super nice that they are just, you know, hanging above these planks. And, like, all the other planks, like, around it, they, they disappear, but then the ones below them, they don't. So that's super nice. Stuff sounds like icky wet poo. <laughs> I've got enough spores. I need to get back to the Batcave and formulate the antidote. Also, his, he wasn't speaking. Oh, I get it. You've activated a sonar beacon down there. Clever. What about Croc? He won't be a problem. Now, why not? Okay, so we do have to walk all the way back. 500 meters? Jeez, that is so far. And that's half a, half a kilometer. A hold to run. Oh crap, I can't. I'm stuck. Oh. They will enjoy feasting on your bones. Mm. I will enjoy feasting on your bones. I should have turned. Yeah, I probably should have. Yes. Okay, it's so 500 meters. Um, so we know that we don't go there. Wait, do I do, do I go there? Not sure that I do, but yeah, well, okay, yeah, it seems that I am. Is it quicker to just run this entire thing, like not worry about him attacking me since eventually he's gonna do that anyway? Oh, uh, wait, I don't think I wanna go. Wait. Do I wanna go here? I hope I do. Oh, wait, he's actually there. Oh, great. Uh, wrong. Weapon. Okay, he's gone for now. I mean, one thing that I don't totally get is why he didn't make, like, instead of having, like, a sonar beacon, which he has now, why he didn't decide to, um,. Make it some kind of bomb so we can just blow up the wall that he, you know, came through and then make some kind of shortcut for himself. <laughs> it's so funny how we just, like, you know, we, we hit him and then he just falls over. It's kind of funny. Okay, I'm not sure if I came this way, but I hope I did. Wait, I'm supposed to go that way? Wait, that doesn't make sense. Or maybe it does. Otherwise, Gotham will have a sewer problem if you blow it up. That is... Well, yeah, that's fair. He has no map of the maze. All he knows is distance. Oh, boy. You can't run from me. Oh, crap. <laughs> okay, that was kind of lame. Not gonna lie. Tick tock. Oh, thank God. I was like, wait, do we have to do this entire thing again? Or just this last section where he said, you can't run from me. You can't run from me. Oh, I hate these kind of sections in video games. What is this? Like 1990s? We're playing like... Uh... What's it called? Crash Bandicoot? Excuse me, the 1990s have called. They want their game mechanics back. Wait, no. My cage will be your tomb. Ah. Clever. I will find you. No, 
you won't. Crocodile tears. Oh, I like the, I like those achievement uh, uh, icons. Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, like the first Crash Bandicoot. Wasn't weren't you supposed to like run away from like this this stone anyway, or like from this stone and you were trying to catch apples and such? All right. So synthesized. Uh, da -da -da, we need to go to the Bat Cave. To the Bat Cave. <laughs> Which I think is that way, yes. So was that one of the bosses that we just defeated? Because if so, then it was a relatively easy one, which I liked. Mm -hmm. mm. Ooh, upgrade. Oh crap. I didn't realize there were going to be goons down here. Oh wait, he's got a weapon. Oh crap. Dude, stop it. Oh wait, I'm down here now. You hit like a girl. Well, you don't hit very well either. You hit like a, I don't know, like a bat person. Stop it! Oh, the guy with the gun, you need to, sh you need to, you need to take a break, okay? Or take a chill pill or something, I don't know. Oh wait, he's got a gun and get it. Now he doesn't. Now he's got a headache. I love it when they say to each other, don't let him hit hit you, you idiot. I mean, you think? When he, oh crap, he's, no, no. I think he's stuck. I think that guy's stuck. At me, dude. You want to come at me? Come. Okay, come at me. I'm not gonna come at you. You gonna? Really, I felt I that. Seismic spikes in all locations. It's not good. It's okay. I've got the mold samples. I'm heading to the back. Mold samples. I thought the there was spores. Good. I tell you to hurry, but I'm sure you know what you're doing. Was that quite fast? Thank you much for the look. I appreciate it. There is no way you were doing this alone. It, it is me, dude. It's it's just me. I'm just I'm just that awesome. I'm sorry. Can't help it. Is this safe? Oh wait, I need to upgrade more stuff. Battering pack. Wait, can I upgrade? Is there like a useful upgrade that I can get? Multiple frequency detonator. Mm. Alright, let's get this one. Yeah, this is where I need to go. Perfect. Scan and open. Alexa, scan and open. I still feel that the bad cave design is kind of like, I don't know, it, it doesn't feel like the most secure, safe thing ever. 
I'm not sure if it's like up to code. Close. It's been more difficult than I expected. Why do people in, in, in movies and such always just type on their keyboard like this? You know, they don't really seem to actually type anything. They just jam at it. chemical will definitely stop Ivy. It may also reverse the Titan transformation. I need to run some more tests to be sure. I've set the computer to create more, but I need to get out of here and find Ivy. Thank God. Her plans have reached the Gotham River. Oh boy. See, that's what I was saying. Like, it's not. It's not. Bruce, are you all right? It's not the most secure design. So many billionaires in the world, and not one of them has become Batman. <laughs> I'm fine. Barely. I'm fine. But my bad cave isn't. Time to kick ass and chew bubble gum. And I'm all out of gum. Ultra Bat Claw. Better than the original one. How do you mean by secure? I mean, well, it, you know, it doesn't seem like uh, this thing will be like super steady. I don't know. But, you know, you know, who am I? Like, he probably thought this true. I mean, he's Batman, so. Yeah. So we just came back with a water bottle. No worries. Hey, no need to apologize. Uh, okay, so where do we go next? Like we just exit? I think we go like we exit over here, I assume. Um, which I'm guessing is not that way, but that way. Okay, maybe that's not where we go. Wait, maybe if I elevate myself. Nope. Okay, so I guess it is this way. This way is blocked by plants. I need to find another way out. Um, yeah, good call, but like how? Feels hastily put together, more of an afterthought. Well, yeah, probably. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, because I guess that's also what he said. Like it, it, it wasn't his main bat cave. He just built another one here, just in case. Ah, use an ultra bat claw to rip down weak walls from a distance. Ooh, okay, nice. Yoink. Okay, so here's a question. Since he made this, why did he... Oh crap, let's not do that. Why did he think it was a good idea to make a, like, an unsecure wall there? Get a weed whacker. Alright, so I'm feeling the... Oh, look at the view. Beautiful. I'm feeling the final battle is about to come up. I'm guessing. At least it, it kind of feels like a, you know, we're walking towards our final battle kind of, you know, it has that kind of vibe, I guess. Tell you I gotta go to bed. No worries. Thanks for hanging around. Hope you had a good time. Get some good night's sleep. Um, yeah, and perhaps we'll see you again some other time. Okay, that's not gonna work. That is also not gonna work. Wait, do I just glide my way down there, or...? Whee! That's kind of cool, though. I'm not sure how it works, like how his cape managed to, uh support his entire weight, but, you know, it's kind of cool that it does. Uh, bye, Prime Guy! Two bosses left and you're on route for one, Poison Ivy. Hopefully she's not going to be difficult to uh, defeat. Well, I'm guessing, you know, Joker is the last one. Um, 
Um, oh wait, over there. Making my way to Poison Ivy because she's trying to destroy the island. Driddle dee diddle dee doom. Driddle dee diddle dee diddle dee doom 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 driddle doo. Wait. Yeah. Hey, look at that. It's the bad guys that we just destroyed. They're still here. Oh, no. Yeah, they are. Um. So where is she actually? Like, they didn't tell me where she was. But I'm assuming, like, if we go here, then we'll find her eventually. Crap, more of these things. Yeah, like normally I've been running a simulation on the damage Ivy's plants will do if they reach Gotham. They won't get that far. My antidote will stop them and Yeah, like I I mean I was about to say you don't have to make this any more stressful for me. Like I'm I'm I know that, you know I know that I need to hurry up. Like I'm not, I'm not just chilling and vibing here and taking my time. I know that I need to be quick, so no need to make this even more stressful than it already is. Miss, what's your name? Is an eco terrorist and formerly human who hates humans, so it's not just the island she's after. Oracle told you that her plans have reached the city. Um. But yeah, normally I don't necessarily stream this late on a Monday, but seeing as, you know, we were close to finishing the game, I figured, you know, like, at least try to finish it, like, today, instead Oracle, of... We've got another problem. Um... What now? Two-Face? Riddler? Some kind time. of giant Joker robot? Unfortunately, nothing that simple. I'm at the main sewer junction, and it appears to be polluted with Titan. Why? What's he doing now? Why? Oh, into it. Um, oh yeah, we were gonna go this way. Like, I didn't feel like, um... Like, you know, playing, saving the game now and then playing, like, you know, a, a teeny tiny part next time. So that's why I'm like, okay, let's just try and finish it today. Um... So yeah, I'm hoping that we indeed manage to do that. Pollution issue is solved on your path to the boss. Okay, wait, where do I go next? Oh wait, I can probably jump up here. Yeah, here we go. I always think it's funny how he, he jumps that far, but then it looks like he will never make it, and then all of a sudden he still does. The Titan water seems to be corrosive, but it shouldn't trouble the suit. What have you found out? Oh, wow. I'm not sure you're ready for this. Oh. No, but go ahead. You all ready for this? Ba -da -ba -da -ba 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 oh boy. This time it's full of Titan. How do I stop it? I'm working on it. You don't. Oh, now we can at least get there. I was breaking my head over that particular trophy last time I was here because I was like, dude, it's in plain sight. How am I going to get there? Um, and now we know. I'm going to go up here. We are going to go up here. According to the plans I have on file, there are three control rooms. The first is directly above you. I'll shut them all down. 
Oh no no no! This Titan stuff reaches Gotham. It won't reach Gotham. Well, that's what you said, but you know. Um. Okay, wait. Let's see, because I jumped too far. Clearly. Yeah. Oh wait, I think we have to go that way. We. Boom. Oh, that was fun. I like that. Um, but how do I get on top there, though? Can I jump? Oh, I can just do that, of course. Why? Why didn't I think of that before? You want some of this? You want some of this? Is this why I shut something down? I don't think so. I think this is just a pathway to... Oh wait, interview tape? I almost missed that. Oh look, more bad guys! Oh, shoot to kill? Okay. I am here, yes! Oh, look at him wiggling his little ass. Like he was on the ground and he was like, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. He's down there with you, making you all look like food. Okay, so we have three control rooms, I think, here. Yeah, one, two... Oh, wait, maybe not. Okay, so let's first go to this one. I do hope that we are getting closer to the end here because um, well, I don't. I, I was hoping that you know it was a little bit shorter because uh, Peter has an appointment tomorrow morning, so I don't want to go to sleep too late. Um, but you know, I guess we we are in this now, so. Oh oh oh! This is nice. Wait, that doesn't work more than once? Okay. Is that clear? Do you want me to send her? Yeah. She's locked up. Do you want me to come down there? No, you don't have to come down there. It's all good. You don't have to say that. I mean if they if they if they if you don't if you have to say that to them, that's kind of I don't know. Why aren't they, why aren't they like affected by that giant piston behind them? Stop with the bullets! Okay, buddy. Punch him again. No, don't punch me again. Oh, I'm not gonna make this. I thought you'd last long. That's what she said. Then what? He held him upside down and beat the crap out. Doesn't work through the floor. Did he pay up? Which one is the? Oh, there we go. Oh, actually, can I not use this thing? Do I look like an idiot? Do you think they'll notice? He had no cash. I cut out his kidney, his liver, you other bits that don't know the name of, and sold him on the street. Some rich guy. He's making you look That's the first pump disabled. Great. 
Only two more to find. Oh wait, wait, was that all was that my entire objective? Trying to shut down the power. Do not let it! Is that clear? Do you want me to send on That's the second pump shut off. Just one more to go. Oh wait, there's more here? Oh no, that was just oh nice, okay. I <laughs> I'll just leave them, you know, to it. If I don't have to fight them, then why should I? Oh, that was that was good. Like, you know, if I don't have to fight them, then why bother? Badly. Let's see if we can do that again in this particular pump. Oh crap. Where's the, um, let's see, where's the control thingy? Oh, nice. They didn't, uh, they, at least they didn't. This time they didn't, uh, you know, booby trap these, uh, these things. Let me get this right. You stay up and wherever the hell you are, and we go poking around in some cases. Great. All right. I'm hoping we can do it again. Like without them seeing me, I can just shut off the thing, and then you know make my way out again. I don't think it is my bath cave now. Where is the pump? Oh crap, I didn't think he'd see me. <laughs> okay, I didn't think I didn't think he would actually see me there. Okay, wait, well they're all all stationed over there now, so maybe I can um Oh man, I, I don't know where the pump thingy is. It might be like all the way down there. Wait up, I'll watch your back. Hold like there's quite a few of them. I don't want to take them all out. If they were smarter, they would chuck, chuck grenades in the vents. Yeah, but I mean, clearly they're not really like super smart. I can't use the ultra bad claw on that thing. That's a shame. You'd expect to find a bat. It's down in a stinking cave. Mm, where could it be? Bust me out of black gate to send me underground. There's got to be easier ways to make a living. Oh, wait, I think oh, I, I think it's over there. So it is actually where I was just now, but it's like over there. Um. So, I need those two guys away from there. And then I can maybe sneak in. Okay, wait, I, I, got, a, I got a plan. I'm not sure if that's gonna work, my plan, but let's let's try. At least it's a, it's a plan. Um, speaking of plans, let's try this. What's what? What do you think you can see me? I'm not going to budge until they're the only ones.
Six armed guys. Wait, where? Are we here? Come on, wake up. Uh, let's see, we've got two others coming to help him out. Wait up, I'll watch your back. What are we gonna do now? I don't know. Shut up and keep looking. Leave him here. Spread out and find the back. <laughs> yeah, just leave him here. We don't need him anymore. How did that guy not hear that? Maybe because it was a super silent- Oh crap! Oh no! Go away! Go away! Jump over the thing! Stupid! That's what I was saying. Why is it so hard to jump over the thing? Okay, I think I'm gonna still end it there. I feel that, you know, we're not gonna be able to uh, end it like within uh, 30 minutes if we have two more bosses to fight. So I'm guessing we're gonna just um, save the game there and then we're gonna try this next time and then I'll make sure that next time we're gonna play this game, I just have um, the follow-up game installed as well. So we can just, you know, finish this game and then move on instantly to the next one. Because otherwise, you know, like I... I know, I know myself and it's probably gonna take me more than one attempt to kill those two bosses, so... Yeah. Plus, it's going to make me even more frustrated. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I think that's a good call. So, let's do that. Thanks for the stream. Thank you for hanging out, Naki. I appreciate it. Um, oh, actually, let's wait with that. Um, ba -ba Exit to desktop. Yes. That was nice, though. I mean, I had a good time. It's a, it's a cool game. I'm actually thinking these games are way more fun then uh, I, I, I'm, I'm liking these games way more than I thought I would. Um, so yeah, also I love that. Oh, that's such a cute emote. Hurry, I love that. Um, oh, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate that. Okay, let's find someone to spread our love. Excuse me, spread our love to. Um, let's see who is live. Oh, what is up with Twitch? Why Why does sometimes BTTV doesn't work? Um, let's see who is live. Oh, what is up? Does anyone else have that sometimes that, you know, BTTV doesn't work properly and it doesn't take your settings into account? Um, which is super annoying. Let's see. May I suggest Mad Max in a similar genre? Uh, Mad Max is a similar genre. I mean, I do have all the other Batman games, so I want to try them first. Um, but I can definitely have a look at that after if I'm looking for like new games. So thank you for the suggestions and thank you for the 100 biddies as well. I appreciate that. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. Let's see. Oh wait, someone else is actually playing a sim. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. I hate that BTTV is not working because now my entire like my entire Twitch thing is sort of broken. Which is super annoying because I always have, like, for some, for some reason, dark mode doesn't save. I don't know why. Um, yeah, it's like so annoying. Um, let's see, what are people playing? Hello. Also, it doesn't save my muted state. Like when I mute streams, it doesn't save that as well. Which is super annoying. Um. Yeah, let's go raid uh, uh, Lumi. We haven't raided them in, in a bit. And they're playing Lake, which we actually played last uh, Friday. So that's kind of nice. Um, so let's do that. They are super kind streamers as well. Uh, part of the Storytellers team that I'm also a part of. So if I can, you know, disable all my stuff. Oh, seriously, Twitch is so broken sometimes. I don't get it. I don't get it. It's so annoying. But let's do that. Um, so yeah, let's go there. Let's go there. Uh, I'm going to skip the Dutch word of the day for today because I'm feeling like, you know, just let's just uh, wrap it up. But yeah, thank you guys so much for coming on over. I really appreciate it. I had a good time. I hope you guys did as well. Uh, and I will be back 
on Wednesday. I had to think, like, what day is it today? But I will be back here on Wednesday, um, where we will most likely continue with um, Red Dead Redemption 2. So if that's something that, you know, you enjoy, uh, then feel free to drop by again. And then I guess next week we will continue with um, Batman. And then once we finish this, uh, this first game, we will continue with um, the next one, which I think is Arkham City, I guess. Um, so yeah, a delicious raid by the lake. I love that. I love that. I'm not even going to share my own raid message. I love that, Naki. So yeah, that's going to be a raid message chat. Um, a delicious raid by the lake. Um, and if you don't have our emotes, of course, uh, then you can use uh, any of your own favorite emotes instead of ours. Uh, but thank you for that message. I love that. I love that. So let's do that. Let's start this. Uh, and then, Chad, as always, uh, if you would like to keep up with me in my personal life outside of the streams, you can go ahead and follow me over on Twitter. Um, or if you want to con connect with me and other members of the community, you can do so on the Discord. And one last thing that I also want to share is uh, if you like to see uh, more videos and more content of me, uh, even if you are a streamer, I have various cool streaming tips videos over on my YouTube channel. Uh, and if you haven't already and you would like to subscribe, uh, I'm getting closer to becoming a YouTube partner and that's a milestone that I would love to hit. Maybe even before the end of the year might be tricky, but we'll see. Um, so if you would like to support me there as well, there's the link. And subscribing on YouTube is completely free. It doesn't cost you a thing, uh, but it does help me out a lot in reaching my goal. So um, yeah, thank you for everyone that has already done that. Um, for now, though, I guess the last thing that I will say, as always, is that my name is Mr. Delicious. You have all been extremely delicious yourselves as well. Take care. Have a good rest of your day or a good night if you're going to go get some sleep. And hopefully I will see you again on Wednesday. For now, though, love your faces. And bye-bye.